Today's episode of the Nate Land Podcast is brought to you by Rocket Money, uh, Mint Mobile, Gooder, and Helix. Hello, folks, and hey, Bear. Welcome to the Nate Land Podcast. I'm Nate Bergetzi, Brian Bates, Aaron Weber, filling in for Dusty. The big, big, big star now, mm-hmm. Leanne Ward. <laughs> Yo, thank you for having me. I'm so I tickled. I think we're lucky to even be able to get you. <laughs> oh, you know, I would come here and mop. Yeah, yeah. Put in a casserole. That's what we were wanted. Uh, <laughs> people people have been asking for a, a female, and we're like, you know what? If she brought a casserole, we do it. <laughs> That's how we go off of it. Yeah. Uh, but you're filling in for Dusty. Uh, we want you to have the same views as Dusty, which is a lot of, you know, stuff's not real. Old Testament. Yeah. A lot, <laughs> yeah, of, old very much. A lot of Old Testament. Yeah. yeah. All yeah. Old Testament. Prepper. That's a great way of putting it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a, yeah. Dusty's in India right now checking out the moon landing. He wants to investigate it. You know, India just sent, a, not a ship, but a, what, a capsule to the moon? With people in it? No, but they landed on the south pole of the moon. No, Nobody's ever done that. Oh. Big deal. Darling, people from late. India? Yeah. What do you mean? Swing? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wait, they landed them. on the, the, the part <laughs> we can't see? I don't know if we can see it. The it's not the dark side, side but yeah. it's just, I think we just no, haven't landed on that part of the moon. They were upside down. <laughs> yeah. So they're hanging on. Huh. I <laughs> saw like they were doing it because it said it, they, were, they were talking about it looked fake, right? Because it was like the video looks weird. It's like not clear. Yeah. Yeah. And they showed it. But then there's a camera. Because it shows it landing, uh-huh. and then there's a camera that from the from the ground. So I don't know how that camera. Like, where is that camera? Well, that's not real. Is that it? It looks like a cartoon. That's what they were showing. I think yeah. that's an animation, right? I don't think so. I think that's the real footage. Oh boy, Dusty huh. is going to have a ball when he gets back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it looks a little bit like a video game. Yeah, that and but I mean, I think people were just saying that. Yeah. <laughs> Who knew they were even trying to go? You think <laughs> it's uh, you guys got that flag? He's got the Kornheiser. Yeah, he's got three flags behind him. And he's like, I'll wait one more. Uh, I wonder if you got to let everybody know. Like, if you're a country, you got to go. You yeah. got to call the other country. Goes at like the very last. You're like, all right, I'll see. You. Oh, I forgot to say, it. we're uh, we're gonna go to the moon. <laughs> and you go, all right, dude. I don't. That's fine. He goes, all right. Well, well you might have to ask. You guys aren't, you don't have anything there, do you? Yeah. Are y'all trying to go to the moon? We're going, we're going yeah. to the moon. Flight plans. Yeah. I wonder if you have to say, you probably do have to say, is anybody surprised? You know? <laughs> There's just the guy there like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Take gummit. Bangalore. Yeah. That's well, exciting. I don't it's know good. if I said that right. I don't know. I've never wanted to go to space. Mm. I think that's frightening. Yeah. I mean, if the, like wealthy, all those people that mm-hmm. want to go to space, I, I've never wanted to go or look at it or hear about it. What do you yeah. think that impulse is? You do get to a level of wealth where you just, I, like, I got to leave Earth. I think you can't be born in Knoxville. And, <laughs> I was born in Adam. Yeah. yeah. Adam. yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can't be born you in Adam. You definitely can't be born in Adam. Yeah, I don't think, I think that's a little far out of reach. You got to be like in New York City. Yeah. You got to be something that you're like, the moon would be a possibility, you know. Uh huh. We're just trying to get you downtown Nashville. I know. <laughs> I know, which is frightening. You know, all yeah. those people twerking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's chaos. And all that dope. Right, right. A lot, a lot of, of carts with dope in it. Yeah, I've seen it. Dark yep. dopes. Yep. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Carts. Seems like they had carts oh. with dope in it, and you could buy it. And people were scooting around those carts. Yeah. With dope in it. Yeah. And then it seemed like a lot of lot of girls with jiggly legs, and I say that because <laughs> mine jiggle, but they're on scooters and they're jiggling, and everybody's <laughs> drunk, and it, yeah. you know, it just seems it's a lot for it me. Is. It's a uh, lot. But I'm a grandmother, uh-huh. you know. Mm-hmm. I don't want anybody to get a brain bleed. I I just worry about that kind of stuff. Yeah. I don't like there to be a bunch of partying going on because I have already been through all that and seen that. Uh-huh. And I, I just don't want people to have that much fun because I think it's, 
you know, sinful. And <laughs> somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah. I don't like all that. Yeah. 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 I like for everybody. It. Yeah. I like for everybody to act right. Yeah. You know, I hate to start this podcast out like that. I love it. This is what we need. You're being, you're filling Aaron, it for Dusty. This is exactly what Aaron, Is that Aaron. what he's saying? It's the same rant yeah. Dusty would be going on. <laughs> yeah. Trust me. Yeah. And Aaron needed to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> I did. Yeah. I've been out there on those scooters. Downtown. You like it. Yeah. yeah. With girls. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Peddling and doing. Did you ever have fun? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've had a good time. Yeah, in I've college a... you would drink like, would you say, thirty beers at a time? Well, we don't need to get into yeah. the, the statistics yeah, of good it. Night. Yeah. Well, he yeah. shared it on this podcast. Yeah, you said that on that was a long time ago. People had forgotten. Okay, but, uh, no, I, yeah, I've had a, I've had a good time two or three times. I think. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. had fun a few times. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have you? No. no. Okay. Straight and narrow. No, I, <laughs> not a hundred years ago. I'm a, I'm a hundred, so uh -huh. you, you're just young, and so you know. You're saying I should be having more fun than I. No, am I don't right think now. so now. No, okay, no. now it's too. Now it's too late. Now it's too late. It's yeah. too late. You have two cats. I think you're having the most fun. I think you have all you can handle. You're right for now. That's for, now, for sure. It's a lot. It would yeah. appear that Notre Dame and Vanderbilt are headed for a collision in the college football playoffs. That is true. Both one and know. Hey, how about that, dude? Mm -hmm. Both undefeated. Beat Hawaii. Yeah. Beat Navy. When are you guys going to get a scoreboard? Uh, you we know, got one. It's ways yeah. in the wind, but we got one. <laughs> yeah. It's but you know there's a lot of stadiums that when they're being built they play and they don't have half the state like everybody got mad at Vanderbilt but they're redoing their stadium and so they're playing and it's only it's not finished this whole season. And so everybody's making fun of Vanderbilt. Then I like someone, and I was like, "Oh, I guess that's crazy bad." Then you realize everybody does this. They all play on stadiums that are half built. That's for sure. When they're in the middle of, but it. it's just fun that it's Vanderbilt. Yeah. Well, and Vanderbilt's probably putting money towards cancer research. Right, y'all are saving the world. Yeah, we're good. Because the University of Tennessee, we've got all of our scoreboards. Yes. Because that's important. To that's us. all you got. <laughs> yeah. uh... Vandy had 21,000, which I think they were proud they barely beat your attendance at Bridgestone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, I'll point out to people the Wilson County Fair was going on. So right. cut us some slack. And that yeah. is a good fair. Yeah. It is a good fair. Uh, speaking of fair, I was at the Alaska State Fair uh, <gasps> this weekend. Anchorage. Is that what you were doing, my mm -hmm. darling? And yeah. was that fun? It was very fun. It got we got uh, we were supposed to get in one day earlier, and our we a flight got delayed. I'm I, tell you, I every even going to Australia when I went to Australia, uh, my flights outside of America all great. Every, the past three flights I've had except today. Today I had a flight, but that was a seven a.m. flight. But uh, besides the past three flights, I've had to spend the night somewhere. Like they're not making it. Really? Mm. Going when we were going to Australia, uh, our flight did not make it in San Francisco in time. So we were either going to have to go fly to San Francisco <clears throat> and spend the night there. And I was like, "Well, I don't want to do that. I'd rather just." So we just stayed home mm -hmm. and just missed a day of Australia. And uh, then when I come, when I came home from Australia, we were supposed to be home, and uh, we did not get on the flight home to Nashville. And so we had to spend the night in Dallas. And then uh, on the way to Anchorage, we had to spend the night in Chicago. Oh, my darling. Yeah. It's not good. It's not good. Something. Especially what was going the on? mess Anchorage. No, nothing. I don't know. You know, just whatever. That's They're delayed. It's just the airports are really bad right now. But there wasn't weather or anything. Just. No. Mm -hmm. No. It's just not good. And we got on and off. Something was wrong with the plane in, Nash in the one in Nashville. Okay. We got on and off it twice twice and then they were like we can do it yeah and then then we made it to chicago but then it was two we already missed the other one in anchorage there ain't like it ain't like going to atlanta there's uh -huh. you have the one boat out did Ain you get to see a big whale or eagles or anything like that uh we saw a grizzly bear <gasps> oh, yeah man. yeah we went on yeah so we we're supposed to do this float plane which i was very excited about and you go to a glacier and you go to this place where there's bears and all this other stuff. And that's the thing we missed. And so we, we couldn't do that. <clears throat> and so then we went on a hike and we did this long, I mean, it was like, it was a 14 mile hike. Wow. And it was, yeah, it was a lot. And, uh, you ran a 5k. I hiking. took his breath away. Yeah. dude. Yeah, it was that's a, a lot. lot. Oh, it's a lot. Yeah. And then, uh, 
we gasped. and when we did it we didn't see anything on the way out and but supposedly this was like a local hike and supposedly there's a lot of animals and uh but we didn't see any it was the weather was not great the whole time we were there and then we're going back and eric uh the barber he spotted uh he hunts so he's good at like spotting stuff and up on this ridge was a grizzly bear <gasps> And then we yeah. saw it, and uh, and it was crazy. Yeah, it's true. so crazy. It was so big. It was it, it 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 was it was very far away up this ridge. But did Eric Eric post? Yeah, it. he did. And then uh, it was it was such a crazy like. I mean, dude, we were so excited. I was so excited. It really made the trip. Yeah. Not true. that I I didn't. I I wanted to. Uh, I just wanted to see yeah. more. Yeah, it's like right there. Mm. So it's way up the mountain. We have binoculars, and you could look. And it was just eating. And uh, I mean, it's yeah, it's pretty crazy because you're just seeing it like you would see it like on a TV show. Right. That's you, the crazy. And you're part. in its yard. You know, you're in its territory. Yeah. Yeah, it's not. You know, I think if you if you you feel it feels something different when you see it. And there's no guide with us. There's no. It's not a zoo, man. It's not a zoo. It's, it's not someone wild. going. Here's where I want to make sure you see a grizzly bear. It was just. Were you scared? Uh, it was. I wasn't scared. I liked it. I, I mean, I. Chase, who was with us, he looked at it. He goes, "All right, let's go. Let's get out of here." <laughs> he wanted to leave immediately because they uh, can run fast, can't they? Oh, they it could have hauled down that hill, no problem. It, Taking all of them out, yeah. <laughs> no, if it, it wanted to, if, if, it, if it wanted to start running towards us, we wouldn't have been able to make it back to the car. We were we were still seven miles from the car. So, but it's way way up that mountain. I mean, it would have been, it would have had to be a whole thing. He would have want, had to have wanted to be like, I don't know if he could have even seen us. He could probably smell us. They have the same eyesight we do and hearing. Oh, so pretty good. Yeah. So if you saw him, it could probably see you. It yeah. was very hard to see him. Very hard. There's to three see. of you. But you I know we have binoculars. Able to see. Oh, okay. That's the difference. I doubt he had them. <laughs> and you're yelling, <laughs> hey, bear. Yeah. He's like, what is that? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like we're trying to get, but he was just out there eating. And it was, it did get weird when we started walking and he would walk, he'd walk kind of sideways with us, oh, but on the yeah, mountain. Yeah. And then we would stop because you'd want to, you're just kind of like, Let, let's just keep an eye on where he's at. And we'd look through it. Then you couldn't find him for a second. Then you're like, oh boy. Because <laughs> he could have come, he was a little, <laughs> oh, like yeah, a racehorse kind oh. of thing. Oh yeah. I've been yeah. to Alaska twice. It wasn't do comedy. It was with Clayton Holmes. And I went uh, on a float plane, and the little what man. What's Clayton Holmes? My husband's company. Yes. He okay, works yeah, for. Yeah. I thought it was a guy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I, you know, I went out there with Clayton Holmes. I, like, I don't know who that guy is, but all right. You ever seen his Netflix special? Because <laughs> I do a bit about getting on a float plane, and that little man, that little crusty man that flew it, who was a bad mama jamma and had a pack of Marlboro Reds in his yeah. pocket. But he asked us all what we weighed in front of other people <laughs> oh, and yeah. we all lied yeah and then you get on that plane you think we're all gonna go down because <laughs> we've all lied yeah, yeah it was only 10 of us but it was nifty but it was glaciers and but the way he flew you it was like white up here white down there you didn't know where you were and then you couldn't get your bearings and then we flew to a lodge where they started the dead rod and they say, uh, and they cook dinner for us. And they say we're cooking salmon, and just know the brown bears are going to smell it, and they're going to come up, and they're oh, and just get in the lodge when they come up. And I'm like, what? I mean, but but flying over, we saw moose walking, mm -hmm. bears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They also said the Inuits made a deal with the brown bears and said, "Do not attack us, and we won't attack you." And that said that nobody on that little island where the Inuits were had ever been attacked by brown bears because they made the natives made a deal with the brown bears. Yeah, they signed a contract. <laughs> yeah. And well, cool. it was, you know, unspoken thing. Mm -hmm. Would you have done that? Yeah, I would do all of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would love to go see everything. I yeah. would love to go. But I mean, if the bear was attacking you, you were just like, hey, could we just make some type of deal? All right, let's talk I think about I would this. bring let's up, talk. if I knew an Inuit, I'd, yeah. I'd say his name. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Jordan Tutu. Yeah. Jo yeah. He goes, does that ring well? He goes, wait a second. You know, Jordan, <laughs> didn't even stop. Uh, you did it too, didn't you? The flying, the... 
I did a plane like that. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't a float plane. It was, it didn't land on water or anything, but it's pretty awesome up there. I'm going back in September. Oh yeah. I got a, I got a show in Ketchikan, Alaska. Did I say this joke? Uh, I told Justin to say it. I don't know if it was mean, like, uh, Alaska is a big man. Hawaii. (laughs) (laughs) because <laughs> you could experience nature keeping your clothes on right? no, you, you, you don't have to take your shirt off this, is, this, this is, is 100% this is, man's your, Hawaii. this is your temperature that you want to go like this is just dude, Hawaii is light jacket weather I yeah. Mean, yeah dude yeah. that's the dream yeah this is it's like perfect what I, was the weather like uh, I told him to, I was like you, I, and I mean I feel bad coming up with a joke but it was yeah I was like that's a perfect joke I'm a big man all why just a big man up there just like they go this is great dude they got a chair i mean not too hot not too cold it's like, perfect it's yeah. perfect yeah it was like 62 very windy oh, rainy yeah oh. uh very windy though i mean it yeah. sounds great yeah nice breeze nice breeze <laughs> uh it, it was yeah it was we had a little blast i it's i'm ready i'm already ready to go back because yeah. we were i was there so short of a time and i want to go back and and spend a week and or just go out and i want to take that plane and i want to go see these animals and I, I i you know i wish i could have done that more seeing that bear made everything because mm-hmm. I, I i've always wanted to see just out in the wild yeah, well, if you want to be disturbed, go to Skagway and go on the brothel tour. <clears throat> there? There is a brothel tour. Chuck and I thought it was a history tour. <laughs> well, they said it was a historical tour. It was brothels from the when the gold rush man would go out there and hire women. And there was different degrees of <laughs> women. There were women that were in the brothel and had a bed and nice wallpaper they could pick out their own wallpaper mm. and then there were there were women that were in sheds they cost a little less <laughs> then there were women that carried a mattress on their back oh <laughs> and men they, the they just lay in a ditch oh wow uh, yeah. this is the red onion <laughs> the red onion saloon brothel museum i'm telling you it? Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm, there was a girl in a saloon dress that said, she said, shimmy across this street and follow me. And we yeah. didn't know what we were getting into. That's yeah. crazy. <laughs> Look at them. Bless their hearts. Yeah. So one would wear, they'd wear <laughs> mattress on their back. Just Ma- strap deliver. a mattress on their back and then get in a ditch. <laughs> I'm just saying what it was. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And then, but the girl, the the I guess the really cute girls got to be in the brothel. Oh, and there was alcohol being served, and they could pick out their own wallpaper. Oh, for their own little room. Yeah, that's nice. When was this? Like sixty <laughs> five. <laughs> <laughs> when was the gold rush? When was all that hoopla? Eighteen forty nine, right? Forty yeah. niners. Forty nine. So yeah. Like pre, right around Civil War time. Klondike, all those men. You know what I would oh, say yeah. too. This would be Alaska. Uh, it's like when you look at it, it's. We talked about it. We talked about it. It's so big. It's. Uh, but you know, like the Sarah Palin thing when they talked about the Russia thing. It is true. Russia is. There's a point. It's like sixty miles. Yeah, it's close. It's very close. Uh-huh. Connected by ice. Yeah. Right. Like yeah. it was like, I mean, I, I don't remember the context of what it was, but when you go there, you're like, yeah, but I mean, it is, they <laughs> uh-huh. act like, I feel like whenever you made fun of it, it's like, well, it's this crazy far away or whatever yeah. the reason is. And then you really look at the map and you're like, it's very close. It's fitting distance for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we're there to rush. You go up to the, t- I mean, you have to get way on up there. Yeah. You think you throw something over there? <sighs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but it was, it was light till 10. I, I want to go back. I mean. I'd like to go with a uh, a little bit earlier. I think the weather's a little better. July, uh, I think yeah. July is when we went. It was very pleasant. Mm. Yeah, northern. We see well the watched and see, did I all I, that. I, yeah, I, I didn't get to do that. I yeah, looked. that looks like those girls that took us on a tour. <laughs> that girl on the left looks like Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> did Chuck put on a dress and a little lipstick? Uh, but yeah, that's what those girls and they took us through that. But yeah. we did that. We did the float plane. You got to go to the to the Taco Lodge. Taco Lodge. 
a T A Q U, I think is what it's okay. called. I didn't and think that's you had to spell where. Taco. <laughs> and that's I thought when you started I, spelling taco, I was like, I think we got it. T A K U. I think Glacier yeah. Lodge. Yeah, mm-hmm. we went there and they cooked salmon for us, and they said big old mosquitoes were there and big bears. Did the mosquitoes? I mean, did did you see the bears? They came up. Um. Uh, yes, and yeah. we got in the lodge. Yeah, they smelled the salmon. You know, my son's an outdoorsman, so he loved it. He loved it, mm-hmm. but my girls loved it too. Yeah, it's you're you are out there. It's a long flight. It was a seven hour flight from Chicago. To wow. get up there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not Crazy. easy. It was uh to LA was five and a half hours. Mm. It doesn't even look real. Did you notice that? Mm-hmm. It looks like a picture book. It yeah. does. And then you try to take pictures of it and it just doesn't do it justice, mm-hmm. right? You take a picture. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. There the yeah, and our the state fair was you just had mountains. It's hard not to be on stage looking at those mountains. <laughs> and then you just Was there a lot of people at their state fair? Yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah. We Were like women making people. jelly and that kind of stuff? I didn't get a walk through the state fair really. So I don't I don't know. I'd imagine they had big big vegetables are a big thing there. And then uh I'd imagine yeah, they were I imagine people made jelly, I guess. Yeah, or, maybe blubber. Oh. <laughs> Could have been. You know, some kind yeah. of whale oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was in. That's what they're uh, known for. Yeah, like you had those mountains back there. So you're just oh. like really <gasps> looking at those. And it's uh, wow. very windy. But it was the crowd was awesome. And yeah, you just stare at those mountains. Though. You could get you could get yourself lost up there. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like Beautiful. forgot where I was at one point because you're just looking at. I mean, it's just so crazy yeah. looking at these mountains. Yeah, it's up there. I told him that's where I'm going to go if, uh, when America falls apart. <laughs> Because I think Alaska, they would probably just be like, we're just going to be our own thing now. Yeah. And everybody would be like, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where I think, you know, because you always say, where people always say, where would you move to? Mm-hmm. I mean, I think you'd have to go up there if they if they let you. They might shut it off. But I did a show. I would mention that. I'd go, I did a show. Y'all don't have a comedian. Right. And then maybe like, New Zealand right. and Alaska in August. Yeah. I mean, we talked about that's maybe... Mm-hmm. Nobody's done that. Yeah, the two yeah. places you want to escape to. Yeah, Australia, New Zealand. Did you Alaska. love New Zealand that much? Yeah, you did. Yeah, I've never New been Zealand over there. Great. It was great. Yeah, you're on the edge of the earth, but it, it's uh, you know, but Alaska's America, so mm-hmm. there's something that feels better about. You know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Something feels free. Yeah, well, you I just got your own it. plug. Yeah. It's like get your 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 everyday stuff is just your yeah. plugs are there. Your sure. this and that. There's a Seven Eleven. I mean, yeah. It's <laughs> not that I wouldn't get used to New Zealand, but yeah. it is nice when you're like. So it feels a little more familiar. Yeah, yeah, like definitely. Puerto Rico. You know, mm-hmm. you can still be tropical, but yet you know it's America. Yeah, right. right. You know, yeah, and there, uh, there's a place in uh, Satica. Alaska or Satika or something mm-hmm. in Alaska. And uh, their average temperature is 48 degrees. Not that bad. Y'all like cold? Are y'all saying to me y'all like cold? No, I don't. You know, I love it. Well, you do, my husband loves cold. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I, I, I don't necessarily like cold weather. But it was... Uh, Sorry. And what are you looking up? <laughs> it, auto, okay, it auto-corrected the swastika, yeah. Alaska. Oh. Sorry about that. That's not... That's a town? <laughs> I should probably get it. <laughs> this is uh, just Darren's history. Yeah, I think I don't think it's Satica. Or right, yeah, some <laughs> Sitka. 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 Yeah, yeah, Sitka, Alaska. Oh, it looks the awesome. average temperature. It's seventy degrees there right now, but it, it said the average temperature was uh, forty-eight degrees. Look That's at that bald eagle. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, that'd be a good place to go to. Yeah. Oh yeah, man. Big time. Look That's at how beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The little town that I went to where the Inuits made the deal with the brown bears. I can't remember what that was called. It's in the inner passage. Mm-hmm. We went, we stopped at um, Skagway and then somewhere else. And that, and that little town had a high school of like 19 kids and five of them went to Ivy League. Oh, wow. Uh-huh. Man. Harvard and Princeton. Yeah. And that had, they had totem poles. Mm-hmm. And your totem pole was your family and all that. It was really interesting. Yeah. And we well watched there. From the beat, from the side? We went out on a boat that was just yeah. for well watching, and they, big whales with eyeballs had come up. <laughs> it was nifty. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. When did you go? My kids were little the first time oh. we went, and then they were probably like middle school, fourth grade, something like that, and they loved it, still talk yeah. about it. Yeah. We took my parents and my mother and father-in-law, yeah. and it was a cruise, and it was kind of cruise where you didn't vomit. You know, I don't like a Caribbean you get seasick. Waves and yes, mm -hmm. I'm Me very too. sissy. Me too. I'm the and worst. And this one was like glass, and you could oh, just okay. sit out there and watch eagles and cut, they'd dive down, get fish come up. Yeah. I mean, it was unbelievable. Would you? And so it was a. I think my parents went on a cruise there too. And are you staying in hotels too? Or are no, you staying on the boat? We stayed on the boat. Yeah. Wow. With a bunch of kids. Yeah. Is it a huge cruise ship? I think that one might have been one of those princess kind yeah. of something like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that's a, probably a good thing to go how to go see Alaska. Mm -hmm. I'd imagine. And we just stopped at those little towns, and you want to just go out there. I want to go and just be. We were on that hike. I mean, you still see, there's still some people, but man, there's so much that you want to go. I want to go to where there is nobody. Leanne, it's, have you watched the show Alone? On Netflix, have you heard of it? No, my it's They send 10 people out in the middle of nowhere. They get to bring 10 items with them, and they give them cameras, and it's just the who can last there the longest. Oh, my Lord. People last out there 90 days. I mean, mm -hmm. four or five months. Is it there. normal people, or are they so, – is it These celebrities are people. like they Corey Feldman? Them. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. Okay. It's normal people. Yeah. No, these are people that – this is what they do. They like te – they're like into wilderness survival and stuff, so they're into it. And if you win, you, you for the last person standing, you get five hundred grand. So like they're motivated to stay out there. But well, it, how my part boy of it could is do appealing. it. I think he my could? boy could. Yeah. yeah, he's got two babies now. He can't go anywhere. But but he's a minimalist and survival kind of. He oh, knows man. that kind of stuff. Mm. How does it? Do they just finally say I give up or? Does people stop them like you're about to die? Or the ones I've seen, they come out and they do a medical check, and they're like, "You're going to die if you stay out here." So they so they yank them. Uh, but a lot of people tap out if they're like, "I'm sick of this. I yeah. know I'm not probably not going to win. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, <laughs> so they oh. just tap Radio out. In. Yeah, yeah, they got a thing with a button that they press. Chuck Morgan watches a show, and it was on last night, and it's people nude. Out in the wilderness, Naked and it afraid. and it blurs out their doings, <laughs> and it and I said I don't want to watch this. It's uh -huh. either it's either watching that or Big Bang Theory, <laughs> yeah. and I don't like all that. And they're out there digging coconut and blurring out their yeah private parts. Well, that's uh, <laughs> naked and yeah, na it's naked and afraid. Naked and afraid. Right. And, uh, I've watched. Uh, I used to watch a lot of it. Uh, I haven't watched it in a while, but it is like when we were hiking, we were talking about that. Like, imagine doing this and then you have no clothes on. <laughs> yeah. And it's, and I mean, you're, uh -huh. you know, it's even if it was 60 degrees and windy and rainy, oh. I mean, it is cold. And yeah. you're, it, it's uh, uh, grass scratching up on you and stuff, too. Oh. Yeah. It's a nightmare, man. Nightmare. 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 I can't even ride on Delta <laughs> yeah. without a coat. Yeah. I it's know. like I'll hanging meat too. in there. Yeah. I know. Delta gets cold. Planes get cold. <laughs> they do get cold. Yeah. I cannot wear it like a tee, but I have to wear a sock. Don't y'all? Do y'all wear socks and tennis shoes when you're on a plane? Yeah. Oh, what I was do. the other thing would you wear? What else do you wear? Well, I see some people in like sandals and I just That's think they're lunatics. crazy. <laughs> would you wear? No, dude. No, yeah. I wear shoes, man. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Let me tell y'all, <laughs> because I would like to. You like wear those Walmart slippers, Aaron? <laughs> Slides. Yeah. I would um, start wearing a toboggan. I'm not kidding because I think my head gets cold. Let me tell you who I was on a plane with. Who? who? Machine Gun Kelly. <laughs> oh, really? It was a fluke. I got on a plane and I... and this, It wasn't planned? No. <laughs> me and, no, me and yeah. Megan and Machine Gun <laughs> Kelly were not... And I got on that thing and was sitting with him. And I said to my children in our group text and our family text, I think I'm sitting by Machine Gun Kelly. And they're like, there's no way. He would go private. Yeah. And I go, well, I think he wears like a size 16 shoe and he's got things hanging from his eyebrows. Mm -hmm. And he had a big bunny that looked like a bunny had been murdered in a on a toboggan. And so, I, you know me, I like people. I love, you know, getting to know people. And I mm -hmm. just said, I'm Leanne. And, mm -hmm. um. Are you, he goes, I am. 
And he goes, my name is, I think it's Colton, Colson. Oh, okay. So he didn't go by a machine gun. <laughs> he just, he, yeah, you know, well, like we didn't need to even breathe it. it yeah. He just told me his real name. And yeah. I said, get a load of this. I'm from Knoxville. Megan Fox was raised in Oak Ridge. He went, that's sick. Are you kidding? <laughs> and I went, no. And I said, how does she stay so darling her figure with those three little children and he said she fast she does not eat past five o'clock and i said well she is a beauty and he goes i will text her and tell her you said that that'll mean a lot to her and i was like wow oh my lord she needs words of affirmation like yeah. we all do <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but anyway he was a doll we had a ball and to, he, he showed me pictures of his little girl and he said she's beautiful and i'm crazy about her and i get to see her all the time we had a ball where Cole were you from? I was in L.A. doing that t uh, table read, and, yeah. he, and he was coming from L.A., and he was going to Atlanta, and he was doing a cameo in a movie, and he was having to read the script, and I heard him say to somebody, they're killing me, and I've got to be up at 6 a.m. Do I really have to be there? So yeah. he's just as tired as we are. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but he was sweet as he could be. You he really right was right next to him, right next to him, wow. honey. And he had a huge shoe. He had nails, tats, things hanging out. He was precious though. He had a sweet spirit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's nice to know that he's a nice guy. Yeah, it's a yeah. Lot and of I told him, to I go, on. I go, I know you don't know me, but I have a Netflix special. And I was, <laughs> and he went, oh, "Are you kidding? That's effing sick!" You know all <laughs> that. And I was like, "Yeah." I go, yeah. "I'm a grandma." He was like, "What?" Yeah. We had a ball. <laughs> he and Megan bro broke up right after that. Oh, yeah. Oh, did they really? Do you think I she think thought she did. could do better when he when he told her that? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe she didn't tell him about Oak Ridge. I uh, know, but they were yeah. things from Oak Ridge. Yeah, but he didn't know that till you told him. Yeah, and they got in a big fight. I bet they. I bet he didn't know. I don't know if they talk about where she's from. I think they just. Oh, no. Made out. I'm surprised they didn't work out. Drank and... each other's blood or whatever they did. Yeah. But no, he was he was really sweet. But he had on a bunny hat that looked like a bunny had been murdered. Which and then but but then was doing this. So he didn't want people to know who he was, right. but he was doing this. But he had on a, a hat with bunny ears that but with he was blood dressing on it. like him. Yeah. He was dressed like that. Well, it's like, but I, yeah, I don't think, what do you, he, he might Look not. Look at all that hanging out of there. <laughs> yeah. He might not have some stuff to, he might sit behind a get football game with that. Know. Like, machine. <laughs> hey. Machine. Mr. Gun Kelly, could you? Mr. Gun Kelly. Kelly. What would you even call it? Yeah. Colson. Now, now I know his name. Colson. I wouldn't even, you'd be not going to say that. Colson. Oh, yeah. 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 You go Kelly. Yeah, Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly. That's yeah, probably what I did, Mr. Kelly. Could you take your uh, reindeer head off? <laughs> your whips and to... chain hat. But yeah. I did find this out. that He stayed on the plane. Everybody got off. And I think I, I didn't know that there's like a celebrity thing through Delta. Like they'll come and get you. Somebody like him. Mm -hmm. And the rest of us, you know, get off. But he <laughs> yeah. waits. He waits yeah. till the end? He waits till the end. And they come and get him in a car on the tarmac. Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm -hmm. We yeah. talked a little bit about that on here before. Yeah, there's some of they they pay for that. There's a, there's there's services that you can pay. That's a yeah. I they, didn't know that. They, yeah, no, yeah, and but Delta has it too. If you fly Delta a lot, I'm sure that his is not bad. I bet. But if you fly Delta a lot, they uh, I had it when I was flying. We talked about like I, when I had Delta when I was flying so much and I was dying with Delta. I they. Uh, Right when I got off the plane, they had my name and they took me to my next flight so I'd make it. <gasps> and it was like when you're, because they, they do that for when you're the people that fly them so much. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty crazy. You know, they, nice. on Southwest, they give you an extra bag of cinnamon grams on the flight. If you fly a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? That's our perk. Is it really? Oh, yeah. oh. that's a good perk. <laughs> yeah, that's not bad. Thanks, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I got off that plane. I don't know where he went and did a movie. I went and got a, in a rental car and drove myself to Hay Hira, Georgia, mm -hmm. and did a private show for darling people at a wedding in a venue. Uh, and then, yeah. yeah, so we have very different lives. But yeah. anyway, my family, my girls just thought that was crazy. It was crazy. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
Yeah, and would you be normal conversation with him? Is he it? was precious. I'm telling y'all, he was yeah. sweet and had a sweet spirit. I think spirit. everybody's very nice. I think it's you know it's their what you know. What Look you? at her; she's had a bunch of kids. Yeah, and she doesn't feel pretty. Have you ever? <laughs> Look at her. He goes, "Oh no, she doesn't think she." I go, "Are you kidding me?" He goes, "She doesn't. She eats one meal a day, and it's not after five o'clock. Don't you know that little thing's hungry?" Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but look at her. Yeah. You helped her by getting out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't know. But I mean, I think I'm he was sorry. sweet. She didn't have a baby by him. I'm shocked. She, oh, she didn't. No, she's got babies by. Yeah. Brian Austin Green. Yes. Yeah, I knew you that. know pop culture. I don't, I don't <laughs> know. Large is said it today. That guy, he actually messaged me once. <gasps> Brian Austin Brian Green. Brian Austin Green. 90210? Yeah. And then, uh, and the, but then Laura said his name to me because we, I don't know why. Uh, but yeah. Okay. That's why, I, I, that's why I'm on top of it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Likely mm -hmm. story. Yeah. Uh, well, I was, uh, in, oh, uh, go ahead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like a good segue. <laughs> Oh, or do you want to tell us about Rocket Money? I'd love to tell you about Rocket Money. Leanne, let me ask you a very important question. Are rising prices stressing you out? Yes. Okay, me too. If you're looking for ways to cut costs, you need Rocket Money. You could be wasting money, not even realizing it. We've talked about this on the podcast a bunch. We all have subscriptions that we forget about, and we're paying it every month for years. Use Rocket Money. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions. Monitor your spending and lower your bills all in one place. With Rocket Money, you can easily cancel the subscriptions you don't want with just the press of a button. They can even negotiate to lower your bills for you by up to 20%. Just take a picture of your bill. Rocket Money will take care of the rest. With over 3 million users and counting, Rocket Money customers have saved an average of $720 mm. a year. Wow. Oh, Man. wow. Yeah. Worth it. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash Nate. That's rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Say it with me at home, rocketmoney.com slash Nate. Chuck Morgan needs to know about because yeah. he <laughs> loves to cut subscriptions and save money. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. There you go. Learn something. I always learn something on here. <laughs> Well, last night I was in <clears throat> Irwin, Pennsylvania, just outside Pittsburgh at Community Church. This is their hat they gave me, and everyone was darling. <laughs> so nice. <laughs> People came, a lot of folks came from the podcast. People came from West Virginia, Maryland. Wow, Spiky wow. from Maryland to wow. see the show, and it was great. And uh, had a great time, and uh, everybody there was was great, really nice. Yeah. yeah. Is that where the Amish people are? Is that close to there? I don't know. I didn't see any, but uh, it's just a little bit outside Pittsburgh. So yeah, I feel like when you and I did, we did a show in Pennsylvania. We saw some Amish people. Where but I feel were like, we? I feel Ron? like that was in the the eastern part of the state. What did we do? We did a theater in was it Reading, Pennsylvania? Lord, I can't. Remember. Was it the Heinz? It was the uh, Heinz people. Heinz ketchup people. Oh, we did one in Pittsburgh too. Yeah. That's right. We've done one in Pittsburgh, but I think we also did one in, in Reading, maybe. Oh. So. There's some Amish out in Irwin. We got an Amish deli and donuts. Okay. Oh. Yeah. So that's probably where they are. I was in Pittsburgh on Thursday, and I had a lot of people come to my show telling me they were going to go see you later that weekend. Oh. Wow. And I told a lot of them to tell you that my show was better. <laughs> I don't know if anybody actually did that, did they? They said they were going to, but mine was so much better that <laughs> they couldn't even <laughs> fake it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they couldn't yeah. even fake it, they, they said. They went in there thinking they were going to do it, but yeah, yeah they, they couldn't like, lie. They had to call it audible. Yeah. I was in Boston all weekend. Oh yeah, Boston. Great weekend. The last improv, Boston. Like, yeah, that's a great last club. Boston was awesome, man. Pittsburgh, Boston. Then I was in Cape Cod last night. Back just a great weekend, man. Yeah. Oh. Just a great a lot of people came out. It was just so much fun. So it was cool. We were we were close by. Dusty was in Portland, Maine. We were all like forty five minutes from each other. Yeah. This weekend. It was pretty crazy. I think a lot that of people soon that forty really forty five minutes? I mean, I, I don't know. I didn't check the map, but everybody said it's pretty close. Oh, that's so tiny up in there. I don't know. Is Pennsylvania? Yeah. I don't guess that's New England, is it? No. No, I guess not. But you guys were both yeah, in Pittsburgh's New England. Pittsburgh's on oh, the opposite. Guess Portland, so, Pittsburgh's I guess, so far away. Yeah, Pittsburgh's near 
Ohio. Let me clarify what I just said. I guess Portland, Maine's close to where I was in Boston. Yeah. And we were close in Pennsylvania. Yes. But not the three of us together. Yeah. Sorry okay. about sorry about that, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I tell y'all that I was in Des Moines? <laughs> yes. And then I was in at the Chicago Theater, but in Des Moines, a bat swooped down at my head. <laughs> and they have that is such an old theater, and I know you've probably worked it. Um, I've worked it and I've had a bat thing. Hoyt Sherman. Hoyt Sherman? The name of the bat? No. <laughs> uh, the old man that gave a bunch of money. Yeah. And they said, we've got a bat problem. And uh, it, they said it was a hinge bat. And it, and we were trying to video and didn't get it on video. Oh. You never get anything Wait, this fun is, like that. You're on stage when this is happening? I was on stage and it was eating bugs. The first night, women in the lobby at the hotel said, did you hear us gas? I went, No. And they go, there was a bat on stage with you. And I had no idea. The next night, I kind of forgot about the bat. And I, I didn't think anything about it. Hey, baby. And I um, was toward the end, and the whole audience went, <gasps> and I thought somebody was coming behind me going to kill oh, me. Yeah. I really did. Yeah. I thought, well, some <laughs> lunatic. Yeah. This yeah. Is it. And they said, it is a bat. And they said, it's a big bat, Leanne. And so then, you know, I just kind of felt vulnerable the rest right, of the show right. what are you supposed to do i know but a little man in the front i go can it, can it do anything to me and he went no it can't but then oh, other people said yeah. oh they said it likes to get in women's hair bats like to get all up in mom's hair oh really <laughs> and a mama's hair and get in it and stay in it yeah well, that bat was and keep flapping your show <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. mama hair 101 yeah, yeah. <laughs> True, yeah. but it it and then the third night we filmed, thinking, oh, that'll be fun. We'll get bat footage. Yeah, bat didn't come out. Oh, yeah, it knew. It knew. Yeah, camera shy. Yeah, mm -hmm. but little Maddie, that's without back, said, "I've got a net back here, like she was going to catch it." <laughs> yeah, but you know, it added to the show. We For yeah, sure. I remember having the bat, and I didn't know it until afterwards because I did, and I did a joke that, and people were like. They like gasped from it. I was like, is that like a fence? Like I thought I made the crowd mad, but I just went through it and it was, they saw a bat. Same thing. Yeah. Oh my Lord. Yeah. In that place. Yeah. Was, in the same place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they need to close the windows or something <laughs> in this theater. They said there's cracks up in there and they filled the cracks, but they still get in. Mm -hmm. you, they said there? you could see bugs through the lights. And they're eating the bugs. It. It's kind of part of it. You just know going in. There might I be think, some bad Does that stuff. place smell like cereal? Or is that... Is, <laughs> um, is that... Oh, shoot. I don't know, my yeah. darling. I, Any specific kite? No, I thought they made cereal there. Uh, and But I could be thinking of There it. is another... There is a place that makes cereal. In Des Moines? And I've been to it. What is yeah. that town that makes... And they make all the cereal. Yeah. And it smells like cereal. Yeah. Davenport, Iowa. Yeah. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what. Yeah. We it did. Davenport. We did. You Davenport. went with me to Davenport. Yeah. Yeah. Do you I remember don't. it smelling like cereal? I don't. <laughs> that woman gave us that little tour. Uh huh. That the darling city. woman. Yeah. Uh huh. She was cute. Yeah. What kind of cereal do you eat, Brian? Like, brand. I love brand flakes. Brand flakes. <laughs> <laughs> I got to stay regular. So, um, you know, we talked about cereal in here, and I said corn flakes was. Oh his, yeah, that's right. The go-to cereal. Yeah. When you, you eat cereal? Not much. I lo I like it, but mm. not much. I I thought of this the other day. You remember the one that had the red box with the frog on it? Sugar pops. Smack em. Sugar smacks. Sugar smacks. Sugar smacks. Yeah. They were good. Do you mm. remember how good they were? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do I remember? <laughs> Are you still eating them? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Do they still make them? Oh, I think so. Probably. H honey smacks. Oh. Talking honey. about this right here with the yes. clown on it? No. I don't ever the remember frog. that. The frog. Yeah. The frog. Oh, they were good. And I do love a Rice Krispie treat if I've got time to make it from scratch. I do think that's good. Oh, yeah. But my Homemade husband's, Rice Krispie treat. Uh -huh. My uh -huh. husband's more of the cereal person. Mm -hmm. We're back into, with Eleanor, now we're doing Fruit Loops, Cheerios, Apple Jacks, anything like that that she can practice on. Yeah. Actually out of a bowl with milk and no, stuff? No, or no, just no. Individually? Like individual. Okay. Yeah. All right. So You said fun. she could tear that's up exciting. a puff. She can tear up a puff. Yeah. <laughs> She's a My grandbaby eats puffs too. Yeah. And I, he's eating cereal out of a bowl with milk. And it is so cute. Spilling it everywhere. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Harper doesn't like cereal. She doesn't? No. What does she eat for breakfast? Uh, Muffins or, you know, something like one of those little muffin thing or something. She never liked cereal. What are you eating on the road when you go? Because Chuck Morgan is in my ear saying, you better eat the Continental. It's free. Don't go to the Panera, Leanne. Why would you do that? That's stupid. So I have to go and figure out whatever they're... Do you try to eat the Continental in a hotel? At the, uh, yeah, they, I mean, if they have breakfast, they're, yeah, I'll go there to eat. I don't always eat breakfast. A lot of times you're on the road. Some, sometimes you're not even in a hotel. You're just in your bus or whatever. Uh, but if they have breakfast, we'll go down and eat their breakfast. But I'm trying to eat more food, like fruit and... Stuff like that. I ate a lot of fruit this weekend. I had a uh, cherry plum, and it was Good. something. It was something. Was it red all the way inside? Um, yes. Okay, because Charlie Morgan, my boy, said I bought some and took them somewhere, and he said, oh, my gosh, Mom, I never can find these, and it's red all the way through. You can't find them. Yeah, very cherry plum. And I said, now that I know that, you will have plums the rest of your life, yeah. honey. Yeah. 50 They're, pounds they of were, plums. They, they were, it was unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> Change your life. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to eat because I would eat so bad and I would <clears throat> eat sugar and stuff. So I'm trying to eat, I eat kiwi too. A bunch of kiwi. Kiwi's good. I like kiwi. I, I, I'm not even, yeah. I don't think I've scratched the surface of fruit. <laughs> right. I've done banana and apple and I like green grapes. But I mean, I, I, that, that plum was, yeah. that was something. Yeah. I didn't think I'd like a plum. Oh, my darling, eat some cherries at night in your hotel room or on the bus before you go to bed, and that'll help you sleep. That's really? got a natural sleep. Um, Melatonin? Something in it. I don't know what. You know, I don't really pay attention. Yeah. I just hear the... Zanax. But cherries, any kind of cher tart cherry juice or okay. eat, a do, cher uh, eat a few cherries. Cherry zero Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> that count? That knocks me right out. Knocks me right out. <laughs> Uh, let's start with some of you guys' comments. Uh, Jared Sh Showerman. Showerman. Sh yeah, Schnauzer Man. <laughs> you know, that's a, like Schnauzer. Smelled like Schnauzer. Schnauzer There's not an I bet it's Schnauzer Oh, Schnauzer I've lost 20 pounds this year on a keto diet, but after listening to the last, latest fast food episode, I drove straight to the nearest Arby's in order to beef and cheddar, curly fries, and Jamocha shake. Oh, Aaron Weber special. It was amazing in the moment, and then the fatigue and self-loathing kicked in. If there ever is a part three, I may have to reluctantly opt out. Mm. Yeah, that's the part you got to get. That's the when you start eating good or eating when you eat bad. You got to like I. That's the thing that I got to remember is that you got to remember that fatigue. Like you're like I'm about to be tired. You're gonna feel this. it later in the day. Mm. Yeah. Later in the day, yeah. I, I I can feel it immediately. Right away. Pretty pretty quick. middle of the meal like. No, I mean, I'm middle of the meal. Depends on what the meal is, but I right. you, you feel it pretty quick. You ever tap just, out mid meal like in fast food? No, meal? I get through it. I get through it too. Yeah. <laughs> and then you mean have it like a sinking spell? What my people would call a sinking spell? What's a sinking spell? Where you feel like somebody took the air. I mean, just you don't feel good, and yeah. you know, I got to lay down. Like, yeah. I got. I need a comedy now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's that stuff that yeah. That's it's just brutal. Spencer Cope, the care and seriousness with which you took animal fights is what made it great. Why in the world would you rush through something like this? This topic is or should have been coordinate land. So, Leon, last week we did a bracket of fast food restaurants where we took 32 fast food restaurants and paired them up against each other for a winner. People were fired up about it. I think we may have gotten more comments about this than any topic we've ever had. Oh, really? We got over 300 just YouTube comments, and people mm -hmm. were pretty fired up. Even last night at my show, people were fired up. About? our What we results were and the speed that we ran through it. They 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 wanted to go slower. They wanted to, yeah, get into it. I took a lot of heat in Boston this weekend. for uh, We eliminated Duncan in the first round. Yeah. How are you uh, going to come up to Boston and take Duncan off this <laughs> round? You know? I yeah. was like, oh, sorry. We don't have Duncan. <laughs> uh, or we have it. We Isn't it crazy what people get fired up over? Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it, I I just thought we just did the animal bracket, so I was just like felt like a lot of bracket stuff. So were there animals fighting too? No, uh, we did we a whole that. one with an animal. Animals, you know those uh, those animal fight episodes. They have like twice as many views as our other ones. So 
People are into Were y'all it. talking yeah. about what kind of animals can survive against each other? Or yeah. What were y'all talking Pairing about? them up against each other. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Who's the top dog? The Who elephant. Won? The elephant won the whole thing. Oh, the elephant. That's yeah. the only one we were really reasonable with. Yeah. Hmm. And then fast food, it was just, yeah, we were getting some McDonald's. But I, I think we just, we talk about fast food so much. I just thought it'd be like an overkill. Yeah. Mm. Of, that's why it was like, I think it's the so right fast. instinct. And people love McDonald's. Is that the main one? People were pretty no. upset. Most people wanted us to pick Chick fil A. Um, yeah. Which I love Chick fil A. I had no problem I with like that. I like Chick fil A, but McDonald's is it's McDonald's, man. Come on. <laughs> What are we doing? <laughs> yeah. We're not animals. Like, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it? Because uh, I love, i tell you what I love, and little Karen Mills and I will do this, and w- then we regret it, and we say, why did we do that? We need a therapist. But I love whichever one it is where you get two cheeseburgers. Yeah. The little cheeseburger At McDonald's? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's called yeah, the two cheeseburger meal. Yeah, that's yeah. mine, too. You got to say it now. It used to be the number two, and then they changed it. It's number seven. You've got to say two cheeseburger now. with a now fry. Now it's number seven, or you got to say it. Oh, really? It used to be just the number two. Oh. Yeah. But I think that. those little cheeseburgers oh, are yeah. so yummy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 This is, yeah. This is what we're all about. Preacher's the choir here. Yeah. I had McDonald's this morning at the Pittsburgh airport. <laughs> oh, yeah. You, Dan? Yeah, their breakfast is great. You sit Do on- y'all still like a Big Mac? Oh, yeah. That's my I favorite. do, too. I like a Big Mac, too. I don't do that often. Every once in a while, little Karen gets real crazy and gets a fish sandwich. Filet of fish. I, mean, I like filet of fish. I'll get a Big Mac and a, fl- and a side <laughs> filet of fish. Yeah. I'll do a two Big Mac meal like you do the cheeseburgers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> get after it. <laughs> two fries? No, I'm not. Come on, dude. I'm He's not, not an animal. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> Did on, anybody yeah. say yeah, Wendy's? I mean, if there's other, yeah, if there's, yeah, I'll get some back. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll get, get some whatever. extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. else might want some, you know. Yeah. So I'll get another one. Is this for one or two? <laughs> Just a two. We'll see. There's a family in here in my hotel. <laughs> when you go and you get order of room service. How many people are eating? Three? You're like, no, yeah. just one. <laughs> Arvid. I'm questioning everything I thought I knew. Krispy Kreme out in the first round. I may have to unsubscribe. I uh, look, Chris Green is, yeah, I agree. Wouldn't have been, it went up against someone, Dairy Queen or something. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, 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 Krispy Kreme shouldn't have been out that quick, but Krispy Kreme is just not, they're not doing their job as a business. You go there, the donuts are bad. They're, they've been there forever. It's not, I, is I, this it, just one location that you're talking about, or you kind of scout out a few of them? I, I mean, I wouldn't, I, and even when I was in LA, I got, dude, I was going to LA phase where I would go every morning. I would, when we lived there, I would drop Harper off at her school, her little daycare kind of thing that we went to. And then I would go and I found a Krispy Kreme and I would go every single day and get four or five donuts. And it was better back then? Uh, It'd be hit and miss. But I mean, it was like, that's when it was like starting to be hit and miss. Where you would get a no, like the donuts just are a little bit older, a little bit, you know, they just weren't as good because they've been sitting out. And then the one over here in Brentwood is, I mean, it it has gotten. You go, I'll guarantee you the donut's going to be bad. It's guaranteed to be a bad donut. It's been sitting there for too long, and I, they, I don't know why it's even open. It should be so. Mine is a disappointment in yeah. Yeah, Krispy Kreme. Are they franchises? Yeah, Krispy Kreme. Are they? Is that? Yeah. yeah. Have you ever heard of Krispy Kreme? Yeah, I have. Oh. Knoxville's got. I think did it start? And where did it start? I think it started here. No, because something's big in Knoxville with that. There's a Krispy Kreme light stays on all the time, but I don't go. I mean, I love a Krispy Kreme, and it's like, do you remember when Duck Dynasty boys Sai said, "If they're hot, you need twelve. Mm-hmm, if mm-hmm. they're cold, you need one." Yeah, they just kind of. Yes. You know. If they're cold, it's, yeah, that's what I mean. And they've they've really been cold lately. Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Oh, okay. But I think, scroll down to early years. I feel like there's some Nashville connection, like maybe. Paducah, Kentucky. <laughs> oh, there is. The yeah. store struggled during the Great Depression. In 1934, they moved to the larger city of Nashville, Tennessee. How about that? Gallatin Road. You remember, was that a big deal when they showed up? Right? <laughs> during the Depression? <laughs> I was there. The day they opened. <laughs> <laughs> and he moved it there because his favorite cigarettes, Camel, 
were there in the North Carolina <laughs> city. Mm-hmm. So he wanted to smoke and eat donuts. Yeah. This guy sounds like the man. But that's yeah, when I know they, fun. He yeah. sounds fun. This guy's living mm-hmm. it up. I bet that's when they were great. Yeah. Is it the 30s? Cam- yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I do love a donut. But, you know, I just don't ever get them because they, they do make me feel like somebody's drugged me. Mm-hmm. It's yeah. like being mickeyed yeah. in a bar. It's just a donut. Not that that's ever happened to me. <laughs> I've heard about it. Yeah. But, I mean, I do. I think donuts make me feel like I got to go lay down. That's yeah. one of those foods. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's tough. Mm-hmm. Uh, Holly Smith. I'm appalled at how quickly you ran through the Popeyes versus Domino's bracket fight and you chose Domino's. <laughs> You barely even talked about the cultural phenomenon Popeyes. What other franchise restaurants do you know that have such consistently poor speed and service, but great enough food that people just accept the reality, wait that long, and ensure verbal abuse? That's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah. I do like that because it is where you're – it could be the service. I I guess I don't go to Popeyes enough. I go through and pick some up for my mom and dad in Cookville on the way home from Knoxville, and they – they um they don't give you change back. They go, too bad. <laughs> yeah. Tough. Really? Yeah. Shut the drawer. I go, I think I'm supposed to get ca-. No. And I just take it. Yeah. Because <laughs> they like a good, you know, I think it's it spicy chicken and then that sandwich is oh, out of the this sandwich world. is great. Yeah. yeah. I think but we don't take have the, them in Knoxville. I take the change. I donate to the Popeye's Foundation. Well, that's kids. very different. Well, but they okay. make story with No, it's just kids, oh. dude. There's, oh. no, there's no Popeye's oh. Foundation. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it was some young kid, and they went, no, you don't. I shut the door. It's <laughs> not like, a bad scam for a kid to run, a teenager, working fast food. Don't give change back. That'll yeah, add up slowly. Quick. Yeah. But you're going to, most people are going to be like, well, I'm, I, you owe me this change. In fairness, it's probably the first time this kid's seen money. <laughs> Wait, <what are> you... <laughs> I mean, most people nowadays pay with a card. Oh, cash. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm weak, and I think he smelled that. I think most people would do it. Uh, I would do that, too. To me. If it were like a dollar. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. I would yeah. do what you did, Leanne, yeah. in that situation. If it were like a dollar, I'm not going to wait there and knock on the window i just god uh, you know yeah just chalk that up offer it up you yeah. know what i mean that's a dollar Lost. i think it was a lot of change though they oh. were supposed to give me you gave her like a 50 he's like sorry i've closed the drawer <laughs> i'd have to get a manager i went it's okay yeah and he was like they're not here i mean it just went they're on not, and yeah. on yeah. i was like, like I okay call. yeah but i don't like conflict so i think i just drove off <laughs> but they've got good chicken mm-hmm. mm. and but, i think during thanksgiving you can get a fried turkey, but you got to order it. Mm-hmm. I think this is this person's point. Is that happened to you, but you still sing their praises? Yeah. Right? You still yeah. are like, yeah, it's good food. Yeah. That is a, I was yeah. treated like dirt every time I go, <laughs> yeah. but it's a good stuff. It's like stuff. an abusive boyfriend in Hosco. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> they like it. <laughs> Chris B., you knock out Whataburger and in and out in round one, and then Hardy's makes the final. <laughs> in what multiverse is Hardy's beating out anyone? I agree. Yeah, y'all, but, what were y'all thinking? We well, made some poor choices, I guess. Yeah. Hardee's is, their breakfast is something to hang your hat on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it is. I mean, that's, these is, is you're not thinking about breakfast. They got but a you breakfast. you don't feel like when you go in there, you're slipping around on some grease. Oh, y'all yeah, don't yeah, think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's dirty. I could, it's, sure. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah I, didn't, I wasn't thinking about that. And I think I, I think a little older Hardee's, so... <laughs> It's also that I wonder if it's uh, the age of this person because if they go to Hardee's like the and you're like I, my head I'm picturing like when I'm doing delivery jobs and I'm getting Hardee's 25 years ago and like you know you'd go get there early and that that breakfast the breakfast line it would be mm. the drop through line was a long line mm-hmm. that was Hardee's breakfast was yeah it. yeah it and was. then they really and then. They, they that's when they added that burger. I think the I'm kind burger. of thinking the wrong time. So I could see that. But their burgers did taste like they had been grilled. Yeah, it tastes like, yeah, the thick burger stood out at the time. It yeah. Was like, mm-hmm. It changed the game, I think. Yeah, we probably went too quick. And so that's why some of the stuff was not. But I, I just thought we did too many bright. I, you know, I'm trying to just get a gauge to be, I don't know what people. I think our reasoning was, Leanne, in and out, the fries. I do not like their fries. Too little. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. 
<laughs> so that set up upset everybody in California. And then Whataburger, yeah. Dusty made the point that since they changed ownership out of Chicago, that they went downhill. I don't know how Can't he knew they, that. Because I haven't been to one. When my kids were, we lived in San Antonio when they were little, and they loved Whataburger. And I, I have just haven't had, we haven't had one in Knoxville. I think we're getting one. They just opened one here in uh, Nashville, Hermitage. right? Not too long. A few ago. around the area now. Yeah, yeah, they're starting to pop up more. So, yeah. You give them another chance. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Joe McAtee. I love that Nate tried to describe to us what Bojangles is, like by using a much smaller, even less known <laughs> franchise. Great job, folks. Talk about Lee's. Yeah. You ever heard of Lee's? Lee's Chicken. Lee's Chicken. Lee's Chicken. They used to be around, though. A lot of people emailed us and said, yeah, we still got one in our town or yeah. stuff like that. The, huh. grandson, the grandson of Lee even emailed us. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. fun. Lee yeah. Jr. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what did he say? He said uh, he was, Lee was uh, like the nephew of Colonel Sanders or something like that. <gasps> oh, wow. Oh, yeah. A little family feud. Well, he didn't say off. that, but just, yeah, just they got it in their blood. Wow. This is what they do. Are Very they going to send y'all some chicken? Yeah. Yeah. I wonder <laughs> if you go over there, you're always, you know, it's like we're having dinner and party at our house and you're like, chicken. You <laughs> what do we have? Yeah, we're, having, we're doing chicken. And he goes, all right. Chicken when we it's get in our chicken. plane. Yeah. Because they made a lot of money off of chicken. Yeah. I saw Colonel Sanders when I was little. I don't think he's a real person. He was. I know, I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, I at a buffet say. in, uh, Owensboro, Kentucky, where my people vacation. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Y'all flew down that's to Owens. How, y'all flew over that's to Owensboro. How, yeah. Well, we drove. But yeah, they had an indoor pool and a buffet. And that's where we went. Yeah. And every once in a while, the, you know, somebody like Ricky Skaggs would come through and play. Oh. And um, Owensboro and, and uh, Paducah. And Colonel Sanders was there. Mm. And his, I think in his... 80s or 90s. Did he have a suit and stuff on? Yes. Was he like doing a meet and greet? No. He was going through the buffet. Oh, really? And I I mean, that it was Colonel Sanders, but I may be crazy. You may Google something. It may be an imposter, but I was a child. How old did he live? He was born in 1897. Or this picture, he was born in 1890. He died in... Uh, 1980. Oh. Yeah, he yeah. would have. He could have gone mm-hmm. to Owensboro. And he died in Louisville, Kentucky. So he was in Kentucky. So yeah. He, so oh, he just dressed had like to that. Just day yeah. to day, he would wear. Yeah, he had a bolero on that little tie and that white jacket, and uh-huh. that's what he looked like. I'm not kidding, y'all. Uh, I could, yeah. Look at this picture of him and his mom in 1897. His mom looks about nine years old. <laughs> yeah. They just different time, huh? Uh huh. Well, it's a different time. What are you doing? He's using his binoculars. Yeah. I was just looking at the picture. Is that how you look? You put your hand? <laughs> you put your, you like. I don't know what I was doing just now. It felt, it felt right in the moment. Yeah. I was looking at it. Yeah. 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 Hmm. I wonder what that. he did with his money. I mean, what would you do back then? Like buy a Porsche? <laughs> uh, he's probably before Porsche. No, I don't know when the, they just probably had land. Yeah. I bet they just owned a bunch of land and he would do, they probably put it back in his business. And, uh, in 1964 at 73 years old, he sold the company to a group of investors for $2 million. It would be 18.9 million today. Yeah. And then he retained control of operations of Canada and became a salaried brand ambassador for KFC. So he was just sold it. And then he was just hired as an employee to be in the commercials and stuff. Oh. So he didn't have quite as much as I thought he would. Uh, yeah, yeah, he, but I mean, I think he had a bunch. Well, he was doing all right. He's doing all yeah. right. Yeah, but not, it's a lot. It's a lot to probably run that company. Mm-hmm. You know? That was good chicken. Uh, Kentucky, for, yeah. It's good chicken. It is. It is. Uh, Jonathan uh, Eldridge. L. Dridge. Another great episode, Brahms Bates. Keep up the good job on picking subjects. I have been in more than one argument about how many people you can order for in the drive through I say no more than five. Any more than that, and you have to go inside out of courtesy to those behind you. Being the premier fast food podcast, I wanted to see where you guys land on this. If I was, I, yeah. 
I, I would agree with that. I don't like order. I really, I'll if if uh, I'll do one, and if it, even if he gets more than that, I'm like, we're less go inside. But if someone else is going to be the one ordering, I'll let them order. Someone's comfortable with it, but I get uncomfortable trying to. What do you want? What do you, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You got to be smart about it. Be efficient. Get the order. It's almost not about how many people are in the car. It's just about how efficient the order is. Yeah, what are we know? doing? If it takes a while, what do you want? And then they try to yell it out and stuff. Leanne, do you ever order for the whole family in the car driving through places? Mm-hmm. I don't yeah. Were you allowed to drive? <laughs> not much. <Yeah. laughs> and Chuck Morgan would say, what do y'all want right now? Yeah. He's a real, you know, dad. Yeah. 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 And, you know, you've been to these places a million times. You remember yeah. Sinbad had that old bit about people going to McDonald's and look at that same menu. Yeah. And go, I don't know. Let me think about it. <laughs> um, yeah, Chuck has no patience. So we all, I'll take the number two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can really. I get a Diet Coke? I remember going to Dollywood with him and I would be breastfeeding somebody and parched. You know, it takes a lot out of you. Sure does. And he'd go, we're getting one drink and we're all going to share it. <laughs> Little children yeah. would. And I wanted my children to have be hydrated, you yeah. know. I went dehydrated. For probably 15 years. <laughs> yeah. I think everybody does. <laughs> the, uh, most people are. Uh, the, yeah. We would do. We could only get one drink and stuff like that. Yeah. Your little like, daddy would say one drink. Oh, yeah. You weren't allowed to get. You weren't allowed to get. We had. Yeah. We had no soda rule. If we ever went Chuck out Morgan to eat. would say nobody gets. That adds so much to the bill. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He did that too. So you'd get. Everybody just get water. There's a water rule. Everybody going gets water when we go out to eat. Uh huh. We fix that. Yeah. Now you're making up for lost <laughs> yeah. time, huh? Yeah. Y'all are buying all free that refills. Coca-Cola. Yeah. They don't do re- free free refills in Australia. Most other places, I don't think they do. You know. Yeah. But that's a little bit. I unique. think that's an American thing. Yeah, yeah. The huge glass, unlimited Diet Coke. Mm-hmm. That's America. <laughs> I was that's at. America, um, right there. You guys know canes or raising canes? Yeah. 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 There's a new one that opened not far from maybe the only one in Nashville. I don't know. And I was in there the other day and they're uh if you buy a certain meal, you get a post Malone cup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah a post Malone meal. A po- okay. Yeah. I yeah. thought that was an unusual person to have as your Well, that's been an interesting marketing move for some of these companies is to have like a celebrity sponsor a meal. Like, yeah. I think it was Taco Bell or KFC or one of them had like a Jack Harlow meal. It's just like an interesting way huh. to to get Machine some Gun buzz Kelly going. meal. Machine Gun Kelly mm. slash Leanne Morgan meal <laughs> maybe somewhere. Mm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She gets the uh, you get the extra fries, whatever fries are left. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the, uh, uh, Prentice McDaniel. Prentice McDaniel. Mm. My brother is one of the people that got E. coli from Jack in the Box oh, in the Lord. 80s. He was eight years old. Multiple doctors told my mother he wouldn't live. Wow. He had open heart surgery and is living well to this day. Also, we won't eat there as a family to this day. God, let's oh, say not. Lord. <laughs> that yeah. seems reasonable. I mean, no wonder if they sued him. Could you? You seem like you could. At least get uh-huh. some gift cards I mean, or you, something. A guy almost died. Surely, yeah, they paid the medical bills. Yeah. Well, you'd think so. Mm. Yeah, you hope so. Speaking of bills, Leanne, <laughs> are you signing your life away to big wireless provider? Keeps you tra- trapped like you're on a roller coaster. They probably th- threw in a free phone and you <laughs> fell for it. But now you can't get off. <laughs> month after month of high bills, overages, and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current plan, it's time to get off that ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans for Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just $15 a month. They offer great service. It's affordable. If you have kids, this is a great option for them, too. Wireless bills keep increasing, but Mint Mobile can help you save. Does Harper have a phone yet? No. Well, when she does, she should get a Mint Mobile. I should ask yeah. beforehand. Uh, they're here to rescue with premium wireless plans for just 15 bucks a month. You can use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. Get Mint Mobile's limited time deal with premium wireless service for just $15 a month to get your new wireless plan for 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash Nate. That's mintmobile.com slash Nate. Cut your wireless bill to $15 a month 
at mintmobile.com slash Nate. Uh, Colonel Sanders, were people coming up to him when he was? No. No. Yeah, he does, like, in just this one picture, it looks like he'd walk around and it, he wouldn't. you wouldn't think, I could go up to that guy. I remember thinking I wanted to go up to him, yeah. but I was just too scared. But I, I was very enthralled by famous people. You yeah. know, living outside of Nashville, I'd see wrestlers and mm-hmm. Johnny Cash at service merchandise. I, you know, so it would, my heart would beat out of my body and I'd be like, I need to go and say something to them. I'm one of those people. Yeah. But I didn't. I was little. He probably, look at how sweet, what a sweet spirit. He probably would have been fine if I'd have gone up to him. He looks like Mr. Miyagi. <laughs> he does look kind of Asian, right? I thought yeah. he might have been Asian, but I don't think he is. I mean, if he's if he didn't want to be approached in public, don't you think he would just wear like a t-shirt or something? I mean, that's Maybe like- Maybe he the... had a gig that night, you know? <laughs> Maybe he yeah. had a gig. Yeah, that's his signature costume. So he wanted to be recognized. I agree with you. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Maybe there was a conference there because there was an indoor pool. When I tell y'all, Owensboro was a good place to vacation. Yeah. They had an indoor pool. It's like a French Lick. They had an indoor pool. French Lick, Indiana. (laughs) (laughs) I've never been there, but I think they have like a crazy Mm -hmm. hotel or something. That's supposedly a fun place. Yeah. They 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 have golf and they have, yeah. The French Lick Resort. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this wasn't like that. We, uh, a couple of episodes ago when you weren't here, I told them that my family had a timeshare and it was in Crossville, Tennessee. <laughs> <laughs> At the, about an hour from Lebanon. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. that's where we would go vacation. <laughs> what was it called? Uh, Mariner's Point. Not, not, uh, there's the big one there is Fairfield Glade. Yeah. 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 But we couldn't get in there. So <laughs> we went to the offshoot Crossville timeshare. Oh. Mariner's Point. And you, yeah. Sh- and, yeah. and so you just shared it with the other people? Just like certain times a year, I think that yeah. would be your weekend, and you would go there and and have it. And we play shuffleboard. And yeah, <laughs> in Crossville. Yeah, it's a good time. Yeah, an hour from your house. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we drive home at night. When we're done, no, we'd stay. But well, it's probably good to have. Like I always think, if you if you did have something like that, it would be good to have it close because you would actually use it. Yeah. Versus, if it's too far. Like if you if you had a cabin in the woods and the, if you had it be like an hour and a half away, you would you would probably go to it a little bit more than you would if it was down at the beach. Eight or something. hours away, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're know, like, I don't know if I can go out there. You might go every weekend. Yeah, but it's probably uh, you know <laughs> somewhere in the middle, <laughs> Gatlinburg. <laughs> yeah, maybe two or three hours away. You know? Yeah, but you're not going to pop up there as as much. Two, three. If you drove here to Gatlinburg. You know, you could talk yourself out of it a little bit uh-huh. easier. Okay, I can see that. Because you're like, I don't know. It's just there? so funny to pop. I could talk myself out of driving to Crossville yeah. <laughs> quite a bit. You know? yeah. A lot of people could. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but if you were like, I needed to run, if you were an hour away from your vacation spot, and it was and it was on the lake and all that stuff, you could even be like, I'm going to run out there today and go fish. I'll be back. Because it's only an hour. You would, mm-hmm. Like I'm saying, you would use it maybe like that. Yeah. That's a Do people here go to Center Lake? Yeah. And have homes? I think so, and yeah. Center Hill Lake? Center Hill Lake. Yeah. Yeah. Remember when we stopped in Pigeon Forge on your bus and um, you guys were going to go to Dollywood, I guess, or whatever. And, and Aaron and I were, and, and I was like, Aaron, there's one Uber in Gatlinburg or Pigeon Forge and this lady would come get us. And Leanne says she'll drive us. If we can get to Knoxville, she'll drive us the west of the way to <laughs> yeah, Nashville. Yeah, yeah. We went to your house. Oh, that's right. You made yeah. us breakfast. Yeah. No, it's a fun time. It was a great day. Yeah, we had quiche. Yeah, why did y'all have to leave? We just had to get back for something, and it was great. And uh, there was one Uber in all of Pigeon Forge, I think. And this lady came picked us up. Basically, it was just her. I mean, and her car was low to the ground. I remember her. Yep. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. She. It was like it was. It was like Uh uh, low on the ground. And she pulled in your neighborhood. She's like, "This is the nicest neighborhood I ever seen." (laughs) But you do have a nice neighborhood. Thank you. Yeah, it's not yeah. like this neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, but I see. I'm a Dollywood fan. Did y'all have a good time? Yeah, Dollywood's awesome. Mm-hmm, it it is. was amazing. It's the first time I've ever been. Oh, and I really liked it. Mm-hmm, it yeah. is. It's cute. Mm-hmm. Uh, Caleb Hufford, Hufford, the Dairy Queens in Texas have a different menu than everywhere else. Wow, I didn't know that. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I looked that up. That's that's true. They have a uh, sandwich called the Dude. Oh. oh. What is that? I don't know. 
Sounds good, though. Uh, Trevor Burkett. I'm wondering if anyone has had KFC fries lately. They are the most underrated fry in the fast food game. Very solid taste, great crisp, and decent shape. With that said, the Chick-fil-A waffle fry is always a letdown. Oh, jeez. <gasps> oh, boy. I need Chick-fil-A to do tots or something because the five wiggly waffle fries I get with my delicious chicken sandwich is a true letdown. Uh, well, oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, could be. I mean, I, I, I always like Chick-fil-A's fries. I think I've had, I think KFC's fries, I've had them too, and they're really good. I like that decent shape is one of his <laughs> selling points. It's all right. It's a good shape to it. it he might be pointing shape. out that you don't like the stringy fries. Is it like a crinkle? I like McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to look this up. Because yeah, I do I love a crinkle. Stringy. New KFC fry. Do y'all like a, like an old timey drugstore oh, when, for sure. when Revco or whoever used to have a French fry? I mean, uh, yeah, and milkshakes and stuff. This kind of fry. I don't know what you call that, but I, I can. I thought they had like more steak Looks fry. like a seasoned fry. That's what I thought they had. Mm. Okay. I'll do I'll do some more mm. research. Yeah, a deep dive. Uh, Joey Flateau. Flateau. I had never heard Leanne Morgan talk before this podcast, but now that I have, I wish her voice was the voice of my inner monologue. Hearing that accent all the time and just her personality, I'd be happy all the time. Joey. You would think Thank that. Thank you, but Joey. After six hours in the car, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> can we turn on the radio for a while? <laughs> no, what happens is I start talking like her 30 seconds after. I'm, it's just hard not to. Everybody does it. I know. My wife does it within 10 minutes. Yeah, it's I'm very. around you, Lee. Oh. She'll come home and go, yeah, I, saw the, I met this woman at work. She was just darling. And I go, <laughs> You've never said that in your life. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, it's going, oh. it's going and a doing. It's infectious. Going and a doing. Yeah. Well, thank you, Joey. Yeah. Very I nice. love being here with my boyfriends. Yeah. We love it. Well, today we are talking about parenting. Um, you just became a parent to a new, a new one, right? Cat. We got another cat. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. I should say, so I feel bad that I, I'm on this podcast and not Dusty, but maybe I can give a, 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 different, a different perspective, perspective than yeah. the three of y'all. I'll yeah. take the kid side in some of these. Well, a lot of people say get a, get a pet first before you have a child to see if you can be do, responsible with them. Do people say that? Usually it's a dog. But Keep okay. it alive. Yeah. Did you ever okay. do that? Yeah. I mean, we got a our crazy dog. It's harder than the, and the, the child. So. We have. Oh, you had a dog. Like, yeah. I thought you meant like earlier. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> everything I do is about 25 to 30 years yeah. behind when you're supposed yeah. to be. So, yeah, I, I did get a dog at 49 and yeah. then I had a, a baby at 50. So, you're like, uh, your life is like Cuba. You just got the <laughs> wrong jerseys and yeah. the old movies starting late. You got <laughs> cars from the 50s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just, yeah. Everything's a little. You I go, got DVDs. You go, golly, dude, I just went and watched. You see that new movie, Forrest Gump? And, like, and then and just over there. And you're like, what? I go, yeah, it's, it just came out yeah. last week. I got a preview of it. Finding out a lot of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Let me ask this real quick. Yeah. Are you the cat person or is Lucy or both of y'all? Lucy's the cat. She had a cat when we met and we had the one cat. But just recently, Nate's sister, Abigail, who you met earlier, mm -hmm. found the cat and uh, we took it in. So we've got two now. I don't mind them as much as I used to. I kind of like them. You, you know? do? They're low maintenance. They kind of just, you don't have to take them out for a walk. You don't have to let them out. They just kind of do their own thing, you know. Which You're I not like. scared. No, these are very friendly cats. Okay. They've never bitten me or anything like that. I think just I've hanging just, out. I think I've just always had experiences with rough. F feral cats. That wild kind of, cats. Yeah, mm. yeah. But good. Yeah. I like them. You yeah. do? And they're mm -hmm. sweet? Yeah, they're nice. They're oh, nice. good. How old are your kids, Leah? They are now, Charlie just turned 30 last week. Okay. And then Maggie's 27 and Tess is 25. Is there anything you would do differently, what you know now? Than, than? Oh, I'd do a lot of things different. Mm. Well, I say that. Let me think about that. I mean, I think I did a pretty good job about most things. They're sweet. They are compassionate. They're not. The baby's kind of spoiled. The rest of them are not. But I think that I, between me and Chuck, because Chuck's a hard Yes, yes. <laughs> Can I say that? Bleep that out, guys. And, um, <laughs> We're at the one nineteen mark. Whatever that yeah. is. <laughs> um, 
and he, you know, like, you got to suffer. Everybody's got to suffer. And I, but I do think that was good that we did not fix everything. I think a lot of people in this generation try to fix everything. And the kids that my kids grew up with, a lot of, you know, are great, but some cannot cope effectively. And I think it's because you do have to have some, you know, suffering that builds character. I think, Mm -hmm. and I think we did that well. I think I could have pushed them more in school. I was at Dollywood, you know, having a big time. We, we blew it out and had a big time, but I'm about fun and I'm a dreamer. Oh, so the kids were with you. Oh yeah, we were. At, yeah, we <laughs> I were. Thought you were at home and just no. It up at oh no, I'm not a. I'm not an amusement park person. I'm yeah. not one of those people. But but yeah, we had a good time. I we laughed and had a, and I think I could have pushed them more. And they did fine in school. But you know how, people like your people are education people, yeah. right? And you're, <laughs> yeah. I I my, the teachers loved me because I wasn't a butt to them. Yeah. yeah. You know, and they said I had sweet kids. But, yeah, we lost papers and stuff, Mm -hmm. you know, and I wasn't organized. I wish I could have done different than that. I should have been more organized. But I do think I've raised sweet children that know how to cope effectively if something goes down. Yeah. You know? And I think if you fix everything. Yeah, your children are great. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Yeah, you can tell. When I saw that we were uh, this weekend, uh, or when we had a layover in Chicago, Chicago has the biggest Starbucks, uh, four floors. <gasps> yeah, Jeez. it's crazy. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, and then so we went in there, and this, and we're sitting right next to this 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 uh, little girl is with her brother, and then the, like there's a you know everybody's sitting at a table, and the girl the girl just the both of them just stand on the table, and the parents are not right there, mm-hmm. and it, like I just saw that, and I was like. You don't. You don't have to be perfect, but it's like just your kids should not stand on the table. Yeah, stand on the <laughs> table. And it was the girl doing it. It wasn't even. Yeah. And you, I mean, they, already the girl's probably not going to stand on a table because their <laughs> girls are a little more. A boy is uh, can be lunatics and they can do more stuff. So, but it just stood on the table. And a and a guy that worked there had to come back. Go, hey, could you not yeah. stand on the table? Yeah. And then I uh, saw the parents come over and they were, I mean, it's, they didn't, you know, they are just like, not really think about it. And you're like, how do you not? Let me ask you all this. When you see a situation like that in the public now, do you have, do you immediately sympathize with the parents in a situation like that? I, or, or are you harder on the parents? I probably blame, because I always think Harper's always been pretty good or great. Harper's been great. She never, she never really threw crazy fits. We never had, you know. I mean, she they throw kids can throw fits, but we never. I don't. Not that any that we can remember. Where it's some just the whole store is like looking. Yeah. yeah. And so when you see that, you now we only have one. Uh, you just kind of think, yeah, you cannot have them do that if you just, you know, it's it could be a little stern with them or you grab, you know, it's like if if she, if she is going to do something, you pick her up, grab her and I'll walk right out. Mm-hmm. Like one of us, you know, I'll rock, I'll walk out, Laura walk out, someone just getting outside I and mean, she might throw a fit to us privately, but I'm not, it's not going to happen. How old were these children standing on the table? I mean, one had to be, that girl had to be 10. Oh gosh. Yeah. Oh, see, that's, that's so not good. That. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. If you're oh. thinking about a toddler, yeah. they don't know. A 10 year old but knows. But a 10 year old knows. Oh, yeah. Why is a 10 year old in a Starbucks? Dude? Well, they, I mean, dude, people are giving <laughs> caffeine. People give yeah. kids caffeine. They drink yeah. caffeine now. I mean, they, they drink it early. They go and, you know, like they need it for school. And <laughs> I mean, it was, uh, I thought coffee was bad my whole life. I mm-hmm. thought you weren't allowed to drink it. And then, but yeah, they, they drink it. I don't know. I mean, they, there's, I don't, yeah, when you see it, you see them in line and like, you know, I always feel bad on a plane. I can tell we, on the way to Alaska, we set, uh, but this baby actually was really good, but, uh, going to Alaska, this wonderful young couple, they just had a little baby, but the baby did good. The baby cried a little bit, but it was, it was, it's all just normal. No one would ever get mad in a million years because mm-hmm. it, it was it's a seven hour flight to Alaska. Yeah. And they, it's a baby. It's a baby. Yeah. And it wasn't like, 
now I've seen it where the baby's crying, where you're going like, you're the problem. I had a flight this weekend where it's baby just screaming nonstop. And my instinct as a guy without kids is to go, geez, dude, get a handle on your baby. Mm-hmm. But then I'm like, I thought about it. I've never had to deal with that. I don't know what that's like. So maybe I can be a little more sympathetic too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but you got to, it's just got to be looking like you're trying to, everybody could be sympathetic about it. That's why I was like Fon Southwest when Harper was young. Cause I think everybody's super sympathetic. So mm-hmm. Southwest is always just kind of like, it's okay. Like but if they look back and you got your headphones in <laughs> and you're the parent. Well, just, you yeah. Know. And you're like, I don't care. Then yes, I, that's where it looks bad. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I see kids throw fits and you can just tell. I think you can tell when uh, they're, you know, they're going to let the kid do whatever the kid wants to do. And it's hard. <clears throat> it's hard for me to tell her no. Yeah. <laughs> you have a joke where you talked about Billy Ray Cyrus in an interview. Miley was his best friend. And they like smoke weed together. And- yeah. And you said you weren't going to do that. Your daughter cannot be your best friend. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just don't think that's a good idea. Uh, and yeah. I think. You know, Molly was on Nick at Night. I think it's around, she was on Nick at Night on a stripper pole, probably about 16. Somebody asked me about it in an audition for a talk show. I said the wrong answer. Yeah. I didn't get it. But I'm more of a stern, you know, Southern mom. I don't think anybody ought to be on a stripper pole at 16. I'll yeah. just say it. And I don't think yeah. y'all to smoke dope with your daddy yeah not on nick at night and i'm sure and i'm sure <laughs> i'm not on nick at night but i'm sure billy ray it's a doll yeah you know hitting I'll a bong once you have we were trying to do uh like on a phone call he's out there out there that's what i've heard he's out there he gets he's, a yard chair and just sits out in the yard and watches people go by i i mean that that's guy I heard. yeah that guy's <laughs> been so famous for so long. Forever, yeah. And then you add on Miley. And I bet she would. And I mean. More famous than he ever was, right? Uh, like, I is it so. even close? I, I, I mean, I don't think it. I, it's close in the fact that at the time when Billy Ray Cyrus got famous, it was the big, Huge. most famous in the world. Achy Breaky Heart was, 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 yeah. was, was uh-huh. so big. And at that time, he was as famous. And it's just one. It's that. Yeah. And then uh, Miley is the new age of fame, but they've never had a break of any sort of reality. I mean, it went from that to she's on that show to being, I mean, she's a superstar. Mm-hmm. I And I feel like she could be, I've never met her. I don't know anything about her, but she seems like she levels down. She's like leveled out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like she seems yeah. like yeah. more, uh, she was doing all this as a kid. Like, who knows? It must have been crazy. So yeah, I don't, I don't think you have any. Yeah, I, I mean, in that world, yeah. I mean, you know, does he even remember going to the store or something? In like, Kentucky. Yeah. Wasn't he from uh, Ashland, Kentucky? I think so. Like, would he remember? Like, they're, even though they grew up like that, I mean, he probably, what, how old was he when Breaky Achy? Achy Breaky Heart? Yeah. Uh, 20s, probably. Yeah. Yeah, 31. Oh, when that, when that happened? Because that came and out And let me just say, I think they all got off dope. Let me just say, I think they all quit smoking. I think they did. All right. I don't all right. know. Good for, good for the family. But I mean, I, you know, just when you're a minor, I don't think it's a good thing to smoke marijuana sure. with well, your children. It's sure. crazy that you say something like that. <laughs> <laughs> that is a controversial yeah. take there. And we yeah. don't. But you're right. And I That's had Leanne, writers. That was Leanne Morgan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Exactly. Who doesn't yeah. think children should be doing drugs. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Go and spell your name, Leanne. Uh, <laughs> but I do. I had a writer for a sitcom that didn't make it. And he had worked with them, and he said, I mean, they can't help it. They're not tethered to the earth anymore. Yeah. Yeah. The, it, their whole reality. They're just yeah, not even tough, tethered man. to the He was, uh, I, when I talked to him, he was on, we were, I mean, it was, uh, mm-hmm. it was a ride. Does he like look at trees and talk about the trees and that kind of thing? Uh, was it a Zoom? Because he had zoomed. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. I mean, he has got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He was Pentecostal in oh. Ashland, Kentucky. So once, you know, the Holy Spirit's in there. His grandfather was a Pentecostal preacher. How about that? I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Played baseball in college. Yeah. And then it just thought, you know, there are other He daughter, played baseball in college? Yeah. Georgetown College. Oh, sweet. Yeah. In Kentucky. Fun. 
Mm-hmm. Their other daughter, Noah Cyrus, actually like her music better than Miley's. Really? She's got some good stuff. So there's four types. I didn't realize that was their, that's her other. Mm, that's Miley's sister, yeah. Oh. <clears throat> She's cute. Is that, is that, does he have two their girls? That's all he has? They have, I think they have a bunch more kids, too. Those uh-huh. are just the two that are. And Tish, you know, they got divorced, and she just remarried somebody. Oh, Tish Finley. There's four types. Psychologists say there's four type of parenting styles. Hold on. Is there a country music like uh, tabloid magazine? Was there ever a country music tabloid magazine? There's country. Um, country Weekly? That was like, a, you know, star. Or like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Or did they all make it in the big one? Yeah. Taste and of star. country. I don't know. I don't know if that's like. It's kind of. Like country music stars are mainstream pop stars. Now. Yeah, yeah. So they're yeah, covered yeah. by TMZ and yeah, everything else. Yeah, and people. And, but it seems yeah. like people protect them more. I think. Nobody ever talks about Sweet Dolly or um, Morgan Wallen's gotten in some trouble, mm-hmm. but he's young. He'll get he's over young. it. He'll yeah, get yeah. over it. That's your people. Uh huh. Yeah. That's right. He's yeah. sweet. He's got the Holy Spirit. Yeah. He's in there. Then he want to date your daughter. He did. <laughs> and they they went to Chipotle. Oh. And um yeah, but she said, I mean, darling sweet, but um, but I did a show with him. And this is how I know I could never be on America's Got Talent. I could never be a judge because I don't have the sense to know when somebody's a star. He and I did a show together and I remember thinking, Oh, bless his heart. Not that he wasn't great. I just thought Nashville and this whole thing, it's going to be a holy nightmare. He needs to buy more mowing equipment because yeah. he told me, and goes, I mow. And I, and I thought, you need to buy some, get yeah. the zero turn because yeah. this is a hard road to hoe. And he was a doll and we exchanged numbers and precious and, then he saw my Maggie on Instagram and asked her out. But anywho, um, I mean, think about how huge he is. It's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah, crazy. And let me tell y'all that he did a video for me. There was a little girl at Children's Hospital that was going through cancer, and he did a video for her, and y'all would ball your eyes out. It was so yeah, sweet. Yeah, awesome. he's sweet. Yeah, he's good. a sweet kid. He'll grow out of all that honky-tonking. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 If I'd have hit it big when I was his age, I'd right. be... In a crop top, yeah, yeah. <laughs> doing horrible things because yeah, yeah. I already did horrible things in the eighties. I did. I yeah. loved so much. I made out with people. Yeah, yeah. I would have been a wreck. I would have been like Molly on a wrecking ball. Yeah. How old were you when you had your first child? Twenty-seven. So that made you settle down finally. It did. Yeah. It really did. I'd settled down kind of before that, but mm-hmm. I always wanted to be a mama and I wanted a bunch of kids. But yeah, I did. I was in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains with Chuck Morgan and he was working 24 hours a day and it was me and Charlie and we had a ball. And then I had Maggie right after. I mean, I had them all close together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Had a ball. Now mm-hmm. I got two grandbabies, almost three and three months old. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's yummy. Yeah. I just got them a bubble mower. Bubble um, mower. Uh-huh. What's People a bubble said mower? That you, you mow and bubbles come out. Oh, mm-hmm. for kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you were talking about Morgan Wallen. Oh, Barnett. I got well, It they, could be some yeah. kind of dope apparatus. <laughs> yeah. Bubble mower. He might have his own bubble mower. But people have asked me, they go, what have you spent money on since you've been on tour? And, what I, and the only thing I've spent money on, I got... My grandbaby's a really good um, swing set, big playground oh, swing nice. that doesn't splinter. You know yeah, that you yeah. don't the kind that my had, mine had. Yeah. You know that you were got too hot, burn your legs. My babies have the a good one. Yeah, that somebody had to come and put together. Oh, uh-huh. Ooh, that's big on time. a pad with I got landscaping boys to put in a pad that if they fall, it doesn't hurt. Oh, nice. Yeah, we'll play with that forever. I mean, that's yeah, yeah. I know. It's a I'm great so gift. excited. Thank you, my darling. Yeah. It's got a climbing wall, picnic table, oh, wow. climbing wall. Yes. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Swing yeah. sets. Okay, there are four types of parenting styles. I'm gonna see which one of y'all are. Okay. Authoritarian. This is like the tiger mom that my way or the highway. Very disciplined. You know, very strict. Chuck. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> authoritative which is still setting reasonable boundaries, 
is still I'm in charge, but but firm but nurturing, they say. Permissive, which you can probably figure out what that is, where the kid basically runs things, and neglectful, mm. which is Nate, um, when you're just the kid barely knows your name. Jeez. Or maybe somebody at a casino. <laughs> well, I was authoritative. If that that's the second one, Chuck is like my way or the highway. Mm-hmm. And I'm nurturing, but I didn't let them go nuts. Uh-huh. Mm. Yeah. And I think that's a good place to be. Yeah, yeah. totally. Yeah. yeah, I'm probably author- in the middle of the authoritative and <laughs> permissive. Yeah, uh-huh. I'm probably right, right, right in the middle of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably permissive. Eleanor's learned just in the last week or so to start going to me for stuff when. When Ruth Ruth says says no, no. like if there's certain rooms she wants to go in and play in or go outside, she'll just grab me by the shirt and just pull me to the door because she, you know, she knows I give in and I am going to be her best friend, Leanne. I'm sorry. (laughs) I don't don't have a best friend. I never have. (laughs) (laughs) Had a baby at 50, so I'm sorry. Well, that's okay. All right. I get it. You do that. I watch, I told Nate one time, I said, there's like three TV shows now I can watch Not Cry because. (laughs) Being an old man and having yeah. a kid, just yeah. everything. I watch Goodfellas other night <laughs> where there's multiple terrible murders. Yeah. People you can kill terrible white. That doesn't bother me. But there was a scene where Ray Liotta, you've guys seen Goodfellas. Mm-hmm. Ray Liotta's yeah. wife are in a huge argument and their little cute little girl comes running out and it scares her because they're Fine. fighting with each other. And that broke my heart more than anything. Yeah. People getting killed. Because I just, you know, there's a little boy last night at this show I was at. This church fell down, hurt himself. I used to not even pay attention. Now I care because I just think about my daughter. Yeah, 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 yeah. you should probably pay attention anyway when a kid falls. <laughs> well, I used to just step over. I used to root yeah. for that <laughs> dumb kid. Should maybe um, testosterone? Do you want to get that checked? You know, I'm about hormones. <laughs> You crying a lot? No, oh, his hormones have to be. I, I mean, don't have hormones anymore. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't even have I, estrogen. You know, yeah, uh, I, we I, talked about John Reem. Seems like was he came on out of my nowhere, podcast. Didn't he, Aaron? Yeah, and John said that he didn't have any testosterone, and he went to <laughs> well, Walgreens. That's a good thing for him. And bought, oh, sorry, oh, uh, because he liked the ladies. Yeah, John catted around, but he's with somebody now, right? And tickle with her. Mm-hmm. So I'm sorry, I interrupted you. You went to Walgreens? He went to Walgreens and started taking something over the mm. counter. And he um, and it brought him back up to good levels. Wow. And he's got this girlfriend. Yeah, They're low tickled. T. That was called? Low, low T. T. Something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, dudes yeah. take, uh, a lot of people take testosterone now, work out and stuff. Everybody like does. If you listen to Sports Talk Radio, it's like all it is. <laughs> yeah. Like, are they, do they find me somehow? <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever got yours tested? Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no tea. <laughs> yeah. I go to the no tea center. <laughs> At this point, it's a good thing. I don't care. I don't have time for, for tea. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like being... It's a low tea person. Yeah. <laughs> you I like can't. being emotional yeah. and yeah. crying. I don't it's have sweet. a problem with it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm old. Live it up. But I think <laughs> that just happens. That men get so emotional as they get older. Yeah. You just... I, I've seen it and... Nate People was before this podcast started. We were downstairs. Nate was wrestling with Harper on the couch, yeah. and I found myself just that, just tearing up. Yeah, oh, I yeah. just think it's sweet, and yeah. I, I just I love it because y'all used to wrestle like this. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Brought back memories. I'm like, we used to do that. No, Harper took my place. No, I just think it's very sweet. Yeah, it is sweet. You got a sweet baby. Well, thank you. And y'all say old. I'm old. Oh, let me tell you, y'all are not old. Well, I mean, well, we don't say not. y'all. They say I am. Yeah. We're just but you're about not. One. <laughs> just talking about one person. Well, yeah. I agree with you, Leanne. But yeah. you know, I know I just get around a lot of people, and I'm 57 now. And I and people go, "Oh, I'm 40," and I and I thought I can remember turning 40. And Chuck Morgan made me go and get my passport picture made, and I cried all night that I was turning 40. So my, I still have that same passport picture, and I'm speckledy face. You know when you're crying them. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to show it to people, and I look like somebody's whipped me. But then I, the next day, I was okay. But I think, oh my yeah. gosh, I'd give anything to be forty. Yeah, oh, that's yeah. a baby. Eat a lot of blueberries and salmon, like Madonna did. <laughs> that's what she did. She did, and she can still drop it like it's hot. She's odd, but well, she can drop yeah. it like yeah, it's hot. She looks, like... she looks terrible. Yeah. Well, that's some plastic surgery. I know, but, but... she's got. I don't think she has inflammation in her knees. That's what I'm talking she's about. 65. She can still like squat, 
Bulger. She's 65 years old. I think so. I think she just turned 65. Yeah, and look, I bet she's squatting Bulger in some of those videos. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know. Like, what do you, uh, what kind of day does Madonna have? Just to, can you imagine? No, I know. Look how cute no. she was. Yeah. Just what, if you're Madonna, yeah. what are you doing during the day? What's she doing right now? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, she, and she was. She was it, she's just so it. famous. Yeah, Do you think people, is, young yeah. young people, know her? Yeah, they know. It's yeah, just because her name Madonna. Mm -hmm. The name Madonna. She's kind of grandfathered in. You know, there's a huge yeah. celebrity. There's never. I don't know of anyone my age cares about her music ever. You know, they you know, it. know it. They know the big songs. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's played everywhere. All mm -hmm. of her stuff, all the time. That's my age. I was. It was big. Yeah. Yeah, I had a root and a. Dark lipstick. I think she just had combat boots. Was she just in the hospital? Yeah, for heart issues. She had something go wrong. Mm. Look at little Brittany. They're kissing. I yeah. remember that. That yeah. was disgusting. Yeah. I remember all of us going, <laughs> "What the?" Yeah, that was the worst thing we'd ever seen when yeah. that happened. Yeah. Lord, now Brittany's she got sunglasses dancing on. in her panties. Yeah, that'd be a kids show now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That'd be a Nickelodeon Awards. Yeah. That's a ride. Right, <laughs> <laughs> That's a ride at Disney now. <laughs> you just go. <laughs> but I just watched A League of Their Own. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. She's great. And Madonna's in it. Yeah. And I guess I didn't fully understand. That was probably a huge deal for her to be in that movie uh -huh. at the time, right? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now it's like, I, I don't even care that she's in it. Like, mm. she's like an afterthought to me. But she was. Oh, you mean a huge deal? At the time when the movie came out. That Not Madonna for her, but for, a, yeah, the, for the movie. Yeah. yeah. Like yeah. This, it's like Taylor Swift being in a movie now. Yeah. Something it like was. Yeah. Oh, and guess who else is in that movie? Who's that? Etta May. Is she really? Etta May's the catcher. No way. Yes. The comedian. Remember Etta May? She was the catcher. It ruined her knees because she had to squat. Oh, oh man. Hold on. I'll find it. Etta May, the comedian. Uh, uh -huh. Etta May, Brenda Farrar. Oh. Was in that. Um, she played the catcher on the other team. Well, while you're looking for that, tell us about Gooder. Gooder. Gooder sunglasses. I wore them this, uh, I took them with me on my trip. I wear them every day. Gooder makes $25 active sunglasses that do not slip, do not bounce, and are 100% polarized. Uh, I, I mean, I, I love these sunglasses. Uh, it's G-O-O-D-R. I have uh, a few pair of them. They're like 25 bucks and maybe 35 bucks if you get some crazy ones or not that expensive, polarized. They're very comfortable. I mean, they're honestly. You play golf in them and when you're sweating. I play golf in them and uh, I have them in my bag. I mean, I am, uh, uh, th before I ever, they ever were an ad, I've I've had Gooder. I'm a big, big fan oh, of Gooder. Oh, wow. Sunglasses. I've learned so many yeah. things today. Yeah, they're, yeah. They're, yeah, they're, they're awesome. They're, you could, you could have a bunch of them and then just have them places. And cause you always wanted polarized. That's what would take stuff to be expensive. But I mean, the, these sunglasses are awesome. <gasps> all and kinds of all, styles. Yeah. And you, you know, yeah, like cool. And they're, they're very comfortable, uh, very comfortable to wear. I wear them. I mean, I wear them all the time. They got skiing. Yeah. They got, they got everything. Uh, so I'm a giant fan. Uh, they started on $25 a pair and come with a one year warranty and 30 day free returns. Uh, if you want to support the show and pick up a pair, Gooder is giving Nate Land listeners free shipping on your first order. There's a link in the show notes, and maybe you will see us in them, and uh, maybe you, you will see us in them in real life. You can go to gooder.com slash Nate and use code Nate to get free shipping. Gooder offers a 30-day money-back guarantee and 100% satisfaction. Find your pair at Gooder, G-O-O-D-R, gooder.com slash Nate and use code Nate to get free shippings. Free shipping. It's a it's a good uh, it's a good little present to give someone. Oh, that mm -hmm. is because ski goggles cost. Yeah, I mean two hundred fifty dollars. Yeah, yeah, they're like those goggles. Those are the, the ski. Those are forty five because they're the ski ones. Mm -hmm. oh but my I mean, gosh. like real official <gasps> ones. Are... The real ones are seventy five. But that's a that's like a. I'm sure those are two hundred some dollars. Are those for mm -hmm. yeah? The sunglasses are awesome. I mean, I. Uh, I have two pair. It is nice to not have to 
<sighs> like worry about the sunglasses so much, man. And if you lose them, it's like it's twenty five bucks. And I've got a bunch of yeah, people in my family it. that <clears throat> lose them. Twenty five bucks is nothing. I mean, your family. <laughs> What'd y'all do? Twenty five <laughs> bucks. Just, just burn it. I remember someone. I thought I remember someone <laughs> in high school said that. I remember uh, someone said their dad when they came home. If he, if he had anything less than a twenty dollar bill, he would put it in a like a jar, and that was like. And then I think the kids are that's the money they could use or something. I Chuck think. Morgan, he did that. He did that. He's got. He's always had a big water cooler bottle, and would put change in it, and then then carry it to the bank, our local bank, and they would go. Chuck came in here at Christmas and rolled all those pennies, and that yes. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, he would put this guy would put ten dollars. He's got dollars he has and dollars and all that. Anything less than it. twenty. Yeah, but, but this the, guy would give it just to the kids. I think he'd like give it to the kids. Money. Yeah, yeah, we didn't get it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 We got it through Christmas or yeah. something like right. that. Chuck's just a saver. Yeah, yeah, that's not bad. Like it's a bad way to save. Just do it throughout the whole year. Watch your pennies and mm -hmm. the dollars take care of themselves or something. It's oh, like yeah. that's a good saying. Yeah. Never heard that. Watch your pennies. And the dollars take care of themselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. I'm just green, but. Okay. Yeah. I like to piss money away. Yeah. <laughs> at McDonald's. That's at, uh, the on the two cheeseburger. 45 mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. No. P-I-S-S. Well, Ian used to be clean. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm and, just uh, gone crazy. Hollywood. I know. Before you know it, I'll come back in here and I'll look like Madonna. <laughs> I know. I'm going to go. Blow my lips up. <laughs> Just talking about well, Leanne's not been reality for uh, yeah, not tethered you know, to the world she's anymore. She's not yeah. tethered to the earth. I looked up some of these celebrities that didn't raise their kids. Maybe the best. Some of them, you know. Well, Joe Jackson is the famous one. The Jackson, Reggie was. Jackson's dad, <laughs> yeah. or the Jackson family. The yeah. Jackson, yeah. But you know, <laughs> Janet. Janet's doing pretty well. Janet Sweet. Yeah, yeah. What is he? Well, Tito. I'm sure he's sweet. Is he still with us? I don't, I don't know. know. I don't know. What? Well, yeah. He was just uh, just so authoritative. I think he was just mean to the kids, and I don't know if he beat them, but mm -hmm. um, but like Tito's still alive, by the way. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. I always thought he looked sweet. Are you talking about Joe Jonas and Nick and all them? Because they've been raised sweet. I'm talking about Michael Jackson's dad. Oh, are we going again? With, like, who hasn't raised children? Yes, sweet, or just kind of notorious oh. parents. So notorious yeah. parents. That's good oh, idea. gotcha. Okay, yes. You know, so, I watched that movie King Richard. Actually, I mean, you, uh, he did some stuff that was a little over the top, mm -hmm. but I thought that movie. I thought he did a lot of good stuff too, and obviously his daughters turned out pretty well mm -hmm. as far mm -hmm. as tennis. I love that movie. Did y'all see that movie? I watched it the other uh, some of the other day. That like uh, kind of the like back half of it. It was just on. Mm -hmm. I, I was surprised I, how good it was. I, I was it. too, and uh, I didn't think I could watch it because of Will Smith. I think I got I got really over Will Smith, and I could be kind of okay, like kind of okay watching him now. Yeah, yeah, but I mean, I don't really want to watch him. I and that's, that. Don't you think Jada that. was all up in that and tormenting him, and he snapped? I, I, I think. Yeah, yeah, no, I do, sure. but it's it's really changed my View look of him. Of him. And, and view of him that I don't, it uh, makes it where I go. I, I do not have a desire to go see a movie he was in. And uh, it just, King Richard was like on T, you know, and I just kind of saw it and I'm, I've been on the road and I was like, all right. Mm -hmm. And I just kind of, and it is, it's, it's good. So you and he's keep good you in with it. it. And he's good in it. But yeah, I, yeah, something, man, it turned me on. Like After that happened, do you think that he was in a closet rocking? <laughs> Probably still yeah, is fetal position. Oh. Yeah. Well, they're yeah, yeah. Their parenting is a little probably different too. Like, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They have some crazy parenting. I think. Mm -hmm. I think they talk to the kids like they're all equals or yeah. something. Like you know, you can't. Mm -hmm. You're asking them. Yeah, you can't do that. Mm -mm. Yeah, I mean, every good parents. Uh, that goes. That's everything. Just it be there. Everything. It's everything. Yeah, but now mine are grown and they're really like good friends now. We can mm -hmm. be friends now. Relationship I'm, does. Do you like? Are there? What are the things you like about now? You have a relationship with your adult kids. Like, what's different about that? You know, they're fun. Yeah. You know, and you, we you, have a good time. Yeah, 
And I really enjoy being with them. And they're all close in age. So when they were little, I mean, it was hairy to go to the beach, afraid somebody's going to get, you know, jumping up. Yeah. But and amusement parks and all that kind of stuff, it was hard. But now, I mean, we're all close. They Charlie's got two babies. His sister helps with the babies. They're in love with them. Mm. It's like, you know, it's like being with your best friends. Yeah. But it's family. And you know, you can trust them. And they love you no matter what. Yeah. What was the difference raising boys and raising girls? Um, the girls were are very sharp, I think. I think men are smart. I don't mean to say that. But girls, at, from the time they're little, can kind of run stuff. Yeah. And they can say, like, you need your hair highlighted, girl. And <laughs> and you need your flu shot. They would shot. say that to you? Yeah. I mean, they get would say. Get your hair highlighted, yeah, girl. Well, they, yeah, they'd be like, Mommy, it's time. For, you need to get your hair done or whatever. They kind of like. Mothered me too. Your kids boy. would tell you to get a flu shot. <laughs> yeah. Well, they do now. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm taking like <laughs> six year old. Yeah. It's time for your booster, Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> your kids are behind the COVID vaccine. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they're pushing it. Uh, no, but um, um, what was I saying? Oh, Charlie was very kind and sweet and mild mannered, but he was the first one. And I think ordinal position has something to do with that too. But he was wild physically. Like he wanted to jump all the stuff. The girls never wanted to do that. He wanted, he was wild physically and wanted to like get out the front door and run down the yellow line. I had to watch him all the time, but he liked to be outside. Mm -hmm. But very sweet spirit and kind. The girls are sweet, but they were hateful. To at a certain, and they can't help it. And You're I scared really of, believe scared that of one of them. I was scared of both of them. <laughs> oh, okay, and that, but it was like middle school. But they couldn't help it. That's just hormones, and I wasn't hormonal, and everybody's, and they're trying to. So it, but but it wasn't often. But they couldn't help it, and that's okay. They're just emotional. Mm -hmm. Girls are more, I think, more emotional, but sharp, and and also think girls will take care of their brothers. And keep them together and their families together. Like, Charlie loves his sisters, but his sisters are the ones that initiate for everybody to be together and all that kind yeah, of thing. Right. Girls keep relationships going. For yeah. sure. For Don't sure. you think? Yes. And then boys, I mean, but Charlie always protected them. If somebody wanted to date <clears throat> them, I mean, he was ready to kill them. Like, yeah. we had to hold him back. Yeah. You know, there was a time when he was going to try to get somebody out in the woods, you know, and I had to call mm -hmm. the principal and somebody was messing with Maggie and... And I had to call the principal and I said, I, I think something's going to go down. Like, if yeah, you don't yeah. do something, he goes, I get where he's coming from, but tell him, don't do it. I would have to kick him out of school. So it doesn't sound like we had all this underground. We did. I knew everybody, you know? Yeah, yeah. You did. But anyway, Charlie was very protective. That sounds really twisted. He wasn't going to kill anybody. Right, I don't mean that. Right, right. He just was going to take up for his sister. Yeah, exactly. But he's very protective of them. So, but. But they were more emotional. He's more level-headed. Like when they got to fighting, because they're only 20 months apart, or we were fighting, he would just go outside and take his BB gun and just, you know, shoot at the tree. Because he didn't want to hear it, you yeah. know. Yeah. He liked to get out and fish or do whatever. But yeah. but they're all yummy. And now I got these two grandbaby boys that are fun. They're going to be fun. They got a good, yeah. the the new one is an infant. The the one that's about to turn three, he's got a good sense of humor. He's fun. Mm. Mm -hmm. He thinks I'm funny. You can tell that early, you know, kid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cause you she, can. You think she, she's funny. So this kid gets it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This kid's smart. But he's got a, you know, like he, you can just tell that he's, he likes things that are funny and he's got a good sense of humor. Yeah. And he's fun. Mm -hmm. I wish Dusty was here because he's in the potty training phase for his two-year-old. And he's got some pretty funny stories of mm -hmm. she just brought him. He's like, what you got there? <laughs> she just had it in her hand. Oh. So uh, he's told me some funny stories about that. I have to take, <laughs> I don't know when the sense of smell kicks in. I feel sorry for my daughter because when I'm at home alone and I go to the bathroom, you just got to take him with you to the bathroom and shut the door. I think this poor kid, she's just in there having fun. Hot and I'm like, boxing in there with you. <laughs> <laughs> why do you at your home why do you have to close the door well i mean if i if i gotta go and she's gonna get in and you don't want her to get, get in, in trouble uh, like get in something that she can do her. something to hurt herself really yeah. fast if i'm not watching her yeah. yeah but why do you are there other people at your house if i'm home alone like if i'm watching her and, and it's just me 
Okay. You can't let her run wild through the house. Right, but why do you have to close the bathroom door? To keep her in there with me. If I'm She'll using the bathroom. run and go pull stuff Oh, out. I was <laughs> picturing her stuff. in a, like a, I guess your kid's older now, huh? She runs around everywhere. Yeah, your kid's up and at him, huh? Yeah. All she, right, my she, bad. She gets was, to it real fast. I was pictured in the carrying thing. Like just <laughs> yeah. dropping them off and hey, yeah. you just leave the door open. Well, I used to do the bouncer and she would just yeah. bounce there and yeah. watch you. That's kind of hard too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, could you look that way just for a second? Yeah, yeah spin around. So uh -huh. anyway, uh, Helix Mattress. Helix Mattress. Thanks to our friends at Helix Mattress. Uh, we have it up here. Everybody slept on it. Uh, as we always say, all the comics have. Uh, it's a premium mattress brand that provides tailored mattresses based on your unique sleep preferences. The Helix lineup offers 20 unique mattresses, including the award-winning Lux Oops, collection, the new Helix Elite collection, uh, and uh, mattresses designed for big and tall sleepers, and even a mattress made for just kids. Uh, you take the Helix Sleep Quiz, it'll tell you what you want to do. They offer a hundred night trial, which is, uh, that's, uh, so many nights. Oh, uh, that sure. is so many nights. Yeah, it really is. Uh, 10 to 15 year warranty. Uh, uh, Helix is offering 25% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners in honor of Labor Day. Go to helixsleep.com slash Nate and use code helixpartner25. This is their best offer yet and it won't last long with Helix. Better sleep starts now. So you sent your kids to private school, and Nate's daughter's in public school. I'm assuming Dusty's going to homeschool. Um, <laughs> uh, is that what he's little Hannah's going to do then? I don't know. I'm kind of joking, but well, yeah, I, I, I'm joking. But we'll see. I bet there's a good chance um, Dusty's going to have his own curriculum. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't think the government's going to be yeah involved. Yeah, um, they're going to have their own thing, but. <laughs> <laughs> you went to public school uh -huh. and you went to private school. So y'all know the advantages and disadvantages of both. I went to public school. My uh, high school is the only thing I went to private school. Okay. But you've done both. Yeah. So what's the, what was your thinking on private school when you sent your kids? Well, I went to a precious school, Joe Burns, that is in Robinson County. Burns. My dad, my dad taught, I went to Coopertown. Cooperstown, yes, I knew that, my darling. Yeah. It's in the same county. Mm -hmm. Well, Joe Burns was a very rural high school, and a lot of, and I'm from farming people, and everybody farmed back then, and so it was big future farmers of America, and it was home ec, and I took home ec and like learned how to sew a pair of jodhpurs, and then I mm -hmm. um, could make an omelet, and I even learned how to make Alaskan baked Alaska. Baked Alaska, yeah, that dessert that you bake mm. that had ice cream in it. But I just, when I got to UT, I think when I went to orientation, you had to take a test and they would let you know if you tested out and you didn't have to take a foreign language or what. I never had a foreign language at Joe Burns. The little man that taught, I realize now that smell was Jack Daniels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, um, but yeah. so I didn't have that. I feel like math. Uh, my basketball coach was my math teacher, and I, and he was a wonderful teacher, but he would rather me play ball. Yeah. And um, then, I don't know, I just felt like I was behind, and I didn't have, it wasn't a school where, you you know, you had chemistry, like two people took chemistry. It, we just didn't have a lot of college prep, and then I got to UT, and I felt very behind, and I went to, God put me with a bunch of girls that had gone to GPS and they were testing out of everything and everything was easy. What's GPS? For them. Uh, girls Preparatory School in Chattanooga. Oh, okay. And some Memphis girls um, that were so smart. And I don't know, I just always felt intimidated and, and it was hard for me to get through UT and I quit and then I went back and I finished and I'm thankful for that. But I just never wanted my children to feel like that. And it was more... And also, by then, I was I wanted them to go to a Christian school, mm -hmm. and and but Charlie went to a public school that was wonderful in San Antonio for first grade. But at the time, they were growing so fast out there that they said he'll have to go to another school. We were going to be there three years. He'd have to go to three different schools. He'd have to get on a bus at six o'clock to be bused across town. And Chuck said, <clears throat> "We can't put him through that. Let's go in and put him in a 
and find a school for them. And there, there's a lot of church schools. And there was San Antonio Christian where David Robinson from the Spurs, his oh, babies yeah. went there. Yeah. yeah. And um, and I loved it. And I and so they went there when they were little bitty. And then we moved to Knoxville. And Chuck, the whole time, I mean, he went to a public school and was very smart, very academic, felt good about school, got an MBA, made straight A's. So I, he didn't feel that like I did. I felt like I didn't get what I needed. He felt like he was fine. But then, anyway, we put him in Christian Academy of Knoxville and felt it was like a family. Mm -hmm. And they had sports, but they had, but there was discipline, you know, nothing crazy. But I mean, I felt like if they had been bullied or whatever, they took care of it. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I just felt like that yeah, was what I mean, was your right son for took us. Them out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, takes them out in the woods. Yeah. Never seek to be seen again. Yeah, I know that did sound weird, didn't it? No, but no. anyway, that's what we decided. And I always felt like you know I'd pray about it, and I just felt like that's where God wanted them. Yeah, mm. but we in Knoxville, I mean, we have wonderful public schools, and the kids do great there. But I also I have one that has learning disabilities, and they found it quickly in private school. And they said if she'd have gone to uh, public school, they may not have found it so quickly. Mm. But and it was hard. It was hard for her to go to school where she did. But it kind of you know helped her. I mean, they gave her help, but she rose to the occasion. You know, mm -hmm. instead of kind of getting <clears throat> lost. Right. So that's what we did. But and we feel you know I don't know what my boy's going to do with because it's so hard for young people to pay for something like that now. Yeah. I don't know what they're mm. going to do about. Um, their babies, but they want to put them in public school and they want to do that, but they'll see. I think they're worried about middle because, you know, middle can get to be a jungle. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what we were, yeah. But, it, you know, they get their friends and it's hard uh, to do that. I was all <clears throat> public till because our high school was, I was the high school, we have McGavick or Hunter's Lane. They were pretty rough schools when I was going back there. So then that's my dad got a job at my high school donaldson christian and so <clears throat> that's why we were able to go there it's because uh it was he got a job there so we got you know I was, tuition yeah and yeah it was like mm -hmm. cheaper and like all that and but i and i loved my high school i loved donaldson christian academy there in school and donaldson they're still they, i mean i just it was not a big it's not a big school it's like a thousand kids uh and it's k through 12 and uh, I just went there from ninth, just high school. But I mean, I I loved it. I still talk to all these people. Like, I I'm a giant fan mm -hmm. of uh, that. And I, and and, and uh, I wouldn't mind if Har I would have liked Harper to go there. We we don't live on that side of town now. And like, but I, I would have. She would have went there if we were over there. Because I, I just liked it so much. I like the idea of being able to stay in one school. And I was kind of in the same school the whole time because we was it was just either. At first, it looked great. I was in the like Gouldsville, then it was Cooperstown for a couple of years, and then it was DuPont Elementary, DuPont Hadley, and then uh, so on. But I remember Joe Burns. I was like the name Joe Burns. Yeah, and we played all. We played Harpeth Hall. We played University School. Mm -hmm. We beat the fire out of them. Y'all the Red Devils. Red Devils. Red Devils. Uh huh. That's and it intense. was sweet. Like, we didn't know what marijuana was. You know, I was very, <laughs> it was sweet back then where you, you didn't have a was. lot of, we didn't know what tobacco. We all <laughs> grew tobacco. Yeah. yeah. But, um, and my husband boyfriend was the school representative at the University of Tennessee. Oh, wow. uh -huh. that's a big yeah. job. Ooh. That was a big job. <laughs> kept him busy at UT. Yeah. Um, yeah. But, um, but yeah, it was sweet, but it just wasn't college prep. And then, and I wanted to go to a big school and, and I felt lost and I mm -hmm. was, but I was also, you know, not doing things I should have been doing. I was making out with people. Aaron, I don't mean to make you uncomfortable no, no, no. because fun. I've been washed in the blood and I'm okay now, you, yeah. you know, you but, go. but I was not prepared for that. And I think that that made me even make more de bad decisions because I felt lost and what am I going to do? And all these people were passing me by. And I remember sitting in algebra and going, what are they talking about? <laughs> yeah. I, is anybody going to make an omelet? Right. <laughs> you know, does anybody need me to sew? Yeah. So I just had that, I projected that on to my little mm -hmm. children and I didn't want them to go through what, and Chuck thought I was crazy because he didn't have that same experience. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I feel like for me, you talk about this in your act, you got one child, so you're going to 
you know, let her sleep in the bed longer yeah. because you want to experience it longer. I feel the same way. I mean, does every little thing, I don't, I mean, obviously I don't want her to get behind, but I try to just, I don't want her to rush through life either. Cause I got one shot with this. So mm-hmm. her crawling phase, I try to take it in as long as possible. Cause it's really cute. Yeah. Uh-huh. And now she's running and, and, but you know, as long as she's not behind developmentally, I'm fine with her taking her time with whatever it is she does. Because yeah. this will be the only time for sure. Yeah. yeah. And we just had a girl because we wanted somebody to take care of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> She'll let you know when you need to get a flu yeah. shot. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She will. And she does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We can, I mean, we're at yeah. 205, so yeah. we can stop. Yeah. All right. Uh, Joe Burns. <laughs> Burns Joe Burns, Red Devil. I played volleyball, softball, and uh, basketball. You're triple mm-hmm. letterman. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, I, there weren't many of us. I was only like 42 people, That's so they made me deal. play. Yeah. three different sports. Yeah, but I, I should have cared more. I was worried about my <laughs> high school boyfriend. Yeah. Yeah, but I played. Mm-hmm. I just had my 40th high school reunion. Oh, really? And everybody, let me tell y'all, when you go back, you're just so thankful that everybody's living mm-hmm. and nobody's in jail. You know how you're competitive at first, like right, what yeah. is going on with your tenth and high and what are you doing? Yeah, fortieth, you're like, are you okay? You're like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, girl, you okay? I'm okay. Are they all pretty? They love like where you're at. Yeah, they were sweet about did, it. Did you do some time at this reunion? No, they yeah. asked me to, and yeah. I said, you know, I'd just like to have a little barbecue and coleslaw yeah, and to give yeah. it. But um, I had um, uh, uh, boys in my class, four of them that were very, very talented. And they started like a country music band and they got a record deal. Oh. And then they ended up, they all went to college and they they quit trying to pursue that. And one of them went to Juilliard and is an actor and is on, um, it was on ABC Nashville. But we had, ta- we had some talented people in that yeah. class. And so our speech and drama was fun. And How many students? 42 wow. in my class. And two of wow. you have been on yeah. television. And David yeah. said to me not long ago, he goes, people say, are you the most famous person to come out of Joe Burns? He goes, no, actually, there's this woman. <laughs> but he's pretty, you know, he's done a lot of movies and television. Wow. Yeah. And those boys, I mean, they said something about open for me at the Ryman, but it's a bunch of, you know, dads and dad jeans and. I can't get all that tech together, right, so I yeah. said no. But they're darling. <laughs> yeah, but they're yeah. darling, and they're, and they played at the reunion, and I thought women were going to take their tops off. Yeah. I mean, everybody went nuts. Yeah. I was more into the barbecue, yeah. the coleslaw. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. All right. Uh, I actually say where it be. I don't know where. Uh, it's I'll, Labor Day weekend. Labor Day weekend. I'll be home, and then. And then it starts San Diego, LA. Uh, a lot of the tour is rolling. So go to my website. This Saturday, I'll be at um, Skyline Comedy Club in Appleton, Wisconsin. Um, September nice. September 9th, I'll be at Comedy at the Sparrow, North Charleston, South Carolina. September 23rd, Astro Theater in Jasper, Indiana. September 30th, Murphy Theater in Wilmington, Ohio. Awesome. Uh, next week, I'm in uh, Middle California, Bakersfield, at the Well Comedy Club in Bakersfield, California. And then I'm up in Pleasanton, which is just outside of San Francisco. First time in that part of the country. So come on out. Oh, and I wore my MTSU yeah. because we're going to get a big win this weekend over <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> mm. was Vanderbilt good. got a big win. Yeah. Over Hawaii. Very exciting. Mm-hmm. So I was wearing that. Mm-hmm. Y'all Notre are playing Alabama? Win. Yeah. Yeah, it won't be a problem. Tough. Oh. It'll be tough. And Where Notre Dame. You know, I got to meet all those boys at Burke Chrysler's thing. That's right. All yeah. those big old linemen. Yeah, yeah. They're little fannies. Their their shorts were up in their crack. <laughs> yeah. Big lineman boys. Sweet. Yeah, yeah they were really yeah. short shorts. I know. Though, I wish I could have cooked for them. Yeah. Um, I'll be at the Robin a couple of all nights. Right. And then, but I, what I'm worried about, I, I've got LeahMorgan.com. I've got 60 dates the rest of this year. But uh, Sugarland, Texas, I'm doing a big old arena, and I've sold one out, and they've added another one just to make me nervous. Oh, wow. <laughs> and I need to Don't sell tickets that? to that. Yeah, yeah I hate <laughs> Sugarland, yeah. Sugar Texas is what I'm worried about, but I've got other dates. But um, yeah. oh, We're in San Antonio the same weekend, Lee. <gasps> Are we? Are Hope you at LOL? I don't steal too many tickets from you, but yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm at LOL Comedy Club that weekend. Oh, my darling. Nice. Yeah. Look at all those added shows. Yeah. Uh, 
Fox Theater. Two Fox Theaters. Yeah, crazy. Uh, yeah, look at, I mean, these are. Pensacola. She's, didn't you just say you want to get booked in Pensacola, stay at that Airbnb? Oh, yeah. Yeah, they rent out the minor league baseball stadium as an Airbnb in Pensacola. Sugarland, Texas. Yeah. Why can't you go? Maybe that's why no one can get the tickets because you can't scroll down. <laughs> can yeah. you not scroll oh, down? <laughs> yeah. It was messed up every second. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, my Will That's Rogers awesome. is doing well, Fort Worth, but I, I'm worried about that sugar land. Y'all come out, a bunch of women, honey, in a wedge with a crossbody purse. I need y'all. <laughs> yeah, they're going to be there. Your, your special did, as I uh, uh, I, I told you it, yeah. and said, like, Mulaney, John Mulaney texted me, and he was so happy about your special and uh, said it did good. Yeah. And like now, special like, was great. So the special was so great. So yeah, yeah go your specials yeah. on Netflix and every uh but every comic loved you. And so Thank yeah, you, look at you. Thank you. Isn't yeah. this crazy? It's crazy. A grandmama. <laughs> they took a chance on me. Netflix <laughs> took a chance on me. Yeah. And they've been good to me. Yeah. So yeah, I'm having a ball. I can't believe it. Yeah. yeah, they took a chance as much as you're killing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> It's yeah. a pretty good chance. You took a chance yeah. on it's them. It's not a gamble on yeah. a nobody, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I would take that chance. Oh, thank you. Yeah. 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 Let me take that chance of yeah. <laughs> going. Uh, yeah, I'll see if it works out for her. Uh, yeah, but we're yeah. Everybody loves you when you're on it, thank on you. here. And uh, all right, that's it. We love y'all. Uh, have a good uh, time. Have a good week. <laughs> and Yay. we'll see you next week. Day. Thank uh, y'all. Yeah. Good Labor Day. Bye. Nate Land is produced by Nate Land Productions and by me, Nate Bargetsy, and my wife, Laura, on the Audio Boom platform. Recording and editing for the show is done by Genovations Media. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to catch us next week on the Nate Land Podcast. <laughs>